one up chat we're indeed back with some more stuff some more games with some more uh minecraft as we begin the evening stream hello hey how's it going uh we are indeed back and i can't wait to, to play because you know today was super long <laughs> what up jackson how's it going uh yeah today is super long we are just doing minecraft today tomorrow we're going to be trying a new game uh we're going to be trying out a game called ixian i tried it a bit before um but didn't get through i think i got through the first chapter but that was before they added an omega hard difficulty so we're going to kind of go into first dive super hard difficulty see if we pass pass it We'll see. We'll see how much we can do in a weekend. Uh, yeah. We'll go big on those. But yeah. We'll see. We have to uh, reorganize our entire power setup, I'm thinking. Because I was having ideas while at lunch, during lunch at work. Because, you know, I dream of this game, this Minecraft mod pack, all the time now. And I was like, am I using the power that I have at, at its full potential? And the answer is no, I am not. Uh, no, I'm not. We read chat. We're yes, in a way. I I chat. I cheated you guys in a way. In a small way, I played yesterday off stream because I felt sick as well. I, I wanted to go out and do things, but I actually, I think, I think I got COVID. I'm not sure. I didn't feel good yesterday, last night. So I played, but didn't stream. So I did a tiny bit of a setup. So we're kind of rich, but it wasn't that big of a setup. It took me all, all of last night to do. Um, so that took the bulk of my time. So it's kind of boring. Oh God, what is this? Okay, well, hello. Will it kill me? Okay, well, I guess not. Um, so I did a tiny farm setup yesterday. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. It's just this box right here. I did an, uh, an ore berry setup yesterday. Okay, we got we got some uh, some gold ore berries here. Okay. And it goes into a macerator to macerate. Okay, just plug in. So it's basically like you know, when I, I did this. It basically, that's what I was doing. I was breeding ore berries. Come on, man. Uh, this might be a problem with with, uh, with these guys. So that's what's happening. Right? So we're, we're slowly going to get gold dust. Because my idea right now that I have... Is with the school dust that we're gonna get, I'm gonna. We're actually gonna get rich. Because, you know, Perkis asks, are we rich yet, right? Why don't we convert every block, every future block that we got with gold? Because that's what's my, my main theme that I was thinking before. Because if I look up gold block, gold block. Right, there's all the gold blocks that I want to use. This the star gold blocks with obsidian, the gold blocks with golden plates, right? Golden pillars, everything. So we're gonna take that theme. We're gonna make a golden city chat. Wouldn't that be sick? Now nah, that's the theme, the golden city of Drek. So I don't know if this these orb barriers will sustain. Uh, I I s said. I said in the Discord, right, um, that I did ore berries and <laughs> got, got kind of like laughed at. So we'll see if it, if it works. Uh, anyways, that's what I did. That's what I cheated you guys on by not streaming that. Okay. So, but what I'm thinking right now that we're going to do for reorganizing our power is this when you got up today i had no internet it was forced to play final fantasy 16. <laughs> so wait what's the what's the downside uh jackson hold on what is the downside 
No downside, yeah. So I was thinking these these guys, right? These are all connected individually to a high voltage transformer, right? And, and each of these sections have a potential of 2,000. 2,000 like uh, power, right? And some are using it to no potential, right? And some are using, well, you know, the max. So I was thinking, what if we centralize all this, all of these go in a high amp transformer. It goes goes off to uh, another connection. Like I will make a small substation somewhere. I don't know quite know where yet. Like maybe right here. And then the power will be redistributed, kind of like centralize our power. I think that might be good. But I don't quite know how, like I was trying to visualize it at lunch. So let's make that one thing first. Uh, high amp. Oh wait, uh, is it high amp? Okay, so voltage in. No, is there another transformer? EV to IV. This be it? Because this, hold on, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's five. Oh, I thought there were others. There was four. Um, okay, so that's that's uh, eight thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand EU. So that would not work. Okay, uh, let me just look up transformer. Hmm. Don't I have like a crazy? High, uh, crazy transformer that I can do. So, HV to EV, high voltage transformer, that's what we're, we do, right? A high voltage, yeah, high voltage transformer, but I need a high amp high voltage transformer. So, EV to IV, that might be tricky. Will it be tricky though? Hmm. It'd be only voltage out 2048. So that wouldn't work. Wait, if we all transform it to. Um, I'm trying to think about this. If we all transform this to e, uh, aluminum cables, right? So this is one amp aluminum cable. So all we need is a 5x aluminum cable. Oh, wait, wait, no, not 5x. Um, I guess 8x aluminum cable. Into a battery buffer. Okay, so EV, and then we'll transform it back down. Because if, it, if I do HV high amp transformer, I've talked to 248. Huh? I don't get it. Oh, it has more amperage. This has 16 amperage. So if I do something like A, Battery. Look at the batteries. I'm wondering if I can do EV batteries. Right away. Small scenario battery. Oh, I need scenario for this, don't I? Scenario dust. Or, or no, I could do... um. I could do quasile sodium. Large sodium batteries. High voltage transfer. Oh, I see. That's pretty expensive. But it would be good in the future. Can I do? Okay, so if I do battery buffers, then there's battery chargers. Is there a crazy amount of battery chargers? Each battery gives eight amps in, four amps out, minimum four amps, two amps. 
voltage in, voltage out. Or a high voltage battery buffer like this. EV. Hmm, that requires 16 sauce. I mean, I could bake this. And I could make these. Um, quad cell sodium batteries. I'm just trying to think of how, how I can enter all this power all at once in, in a, a battery buffer to use the full potential of this, this gasoline and it would lower pollution as well. So it's going to take me a bit of time to like think about this. <laughs> Uh, but also the location. I'm, I was thinking location right here, because I want I want to build. Uh, I already have some wind turbines kind of built here. Well, not built, but they have the pieces. Uh, so if I do want some wind turbines up here, how how tall is this? Y sixty nine. Y seventy. Oh, I need to make a, a wind turbine. Um, what you call it? A wind meter. Oh. RE battery. The wind meter measures wind strength. It shows you on which height you can place your wind generator. Do I need this? Stainless steel, stainless steel, aluminum, aluminum rotor. That's pretty easy. Small power unit. I'll be tier. Okay. Doable. Doable. Uh, RE battery. Bat pack. What is the heck is a bat pack? Oh, I could just do this. A uh, small battery hull, multi redstone, RE battery. Okay. There's wind. There is. There is wind power. Uh, so, yeah, there is wind. You can also do hydropower, but I'm going to do some wind after we do our, our, I guess, our encasement here. Um, okay, so if I do that, then I'm going to need to make an area for the battery. Uh, let's take future blocks. Okay, we'll take that. And we'll start designing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking like right, right beside. That could work. Just as I like a substation a power substation and the power substation could be like decently big uh, I don't know how what the design is gonna be like am I gonna convert with certain types of glass or something let's do it up to, up to here uh, I don't know how big the battery buffer sections are gonna be so we're just gonna do an outline for now and then go from there because I really do think that when we I'm going to centralize all that power uh, it's going to revolutionize a lot of uh, our potential and power savings okay it is nighttime yeah there's wind and we're gonna we're gonna figure it out but first first we're gonna use our diesel and then then we'll figure the wind out We'll take this. Don't need this. Um, hmm. We're gonna need some glass or so or something. Oh, don't we have like white glass that I use for like my uh, my other stuff? I could I could sworn I had like white glass I use for my solar panel thing. Can okay, we just put all this stuff back? All this junk back. I have, a, I have so much junk everywhere. Okay. I, I don't know what I have. Anti-blocks. Uh, yeah, I had like glass panes, but it was like white glass panes. I don't know if I had a lot though. If I look up glass pane. How, how was everyone's day? Hopefully everyone's day was going well. 
Uh, yeah, the stain, white bubble glass, stained glass paint. That's what I need. But where's the rest? Oh, there it is. I don't think I had all that much. So we're going to need some bone meal or something. I made homemade burgers for dinner. Smile. Ooh. That sounds really good, actually. That sounds really, really good. Um, we're going to do some... You know what? Why got glass paints like this? We don't, we won't have enough of these, but it's a start. Okay. And then, yeah, then, uh, I guess, I guess I should just make a roof. I should just make the roof and then the outline can just, you know. Uh, just the buns in the panty, grease and butter. Oh, that sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely amazing. Basically, nap the entire day just to pass the time until night. Electricity was so expensive today, just having your computer on would have cost one euro every hour. Holy moly. That's insane. Uh, why, is it because it's super cold or something? Like, they're just like a huge peak demand or something? I know here, here we're having electricity issues as well. Um, because, oh, what, what is it? They, they chose to, like, uncap something. <laughs> the government chose to uncap something, and, and, uh, yeah. It is not good for consumers. Okay. Which kind of feels bad, because I'm kind of, like, affiliated with those, those things. Well, not with the power government, but I suppose it's... And part of the entity. So it feels bad because I don't agree with it. Uh, the entire country is minus 20 C. You think Lois is minus 46 up north? Holy moly. I wonder if that's going to reach a... Uh, because I guess it's like a polar vortex, right? I know they're announcing it for Canada as well. I wonder. I wonder. But I mean, to be fair, taking a nap feels kind of nice. <laughs> to be fair, uh, napping is nice. Went to bed at 6 a.m. Now it's 2 a.m. Damn. Well, if you're awake tomorrow, uh, Jackson and Samson, we're going to try a new game tomorrow. Again, I'm not quitting this mod pack. I'm literally like, still dreaming about making my factory. But for the sanity of some people my my channel, and I guess to reinvigorate even more addiction, we're going to just try a new game for the weekend. I think Exian should be kind of fun because it's kind of like a city sci-fi building game, I, th I think. Um... I can't recall the premise too, too much, but, uh, there is building and there is resources. Should be interesting. I know this year has been playing Xen lately, but don't want to get spoiled before you play Fair Fair. Yeah, we're going to try to do as much of it this weekend as possible. I also want to do, uh, um, I mean, I want to do so many things, but when I got talking about Anno, <laughs> I want to play another... Maybe I'll, one day I'll do like a super late night Anno stream or something. Like I did before. Just very, very chill. Me just building. There's so many achievements in, in Anno that I want to get. So... That could be fun. I don't know if it's my brain that's just wired this way, but I, I kind of love doing production chains and stuff like that. Um, I'm not an engineer or anything like that. But it's just like, I don't know, there's just so, something so satisfying about like 
fulfilling logistic stuff. I don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, okay, more future blocks. Uh, I guess I can get more redstone. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. One day, yeah, one day. You like to extend yourself too, but you found it a bit shallow for your taste. It's good for a dozen hours, but you want hundreds. Yeah. I definitely get it. It's, uh... Sometimes, like, you, you're left wanting more in some ways, right? I mean, it's, it's great for me in the sense that, like, I can do it in a weekend and then, like, okay, chat, we're, we're done. Um, let's go back to the small pack type thing, right? But, yeah. Then, then again, you go into like Satisfactory or Factorio, and then you get like thousands. Okay. The hunters of ours are start to find it in this day and age? I guess it depends. Satisfactory and Factorio. <laughs> you have, uh, you have thousands in that. Okay. Uh, but those, I, I, I guess those games are kind of rare still, you know. They, they aren't, uh, they aren't the norm. You have a good rotation of like eight games that are all endless, yeah. It feels really good when you have a, a good series of games now. I feel like I feel like now we live in the age where gaming is just absolutely amazing, right? I feel like the, I have no rut of wondering what to play. Like uh instead of saying oh there's no games to play, I'm just like well, there's too many games to play. So uh, just uh, figuring out what to showcase, etc. But now, now I mean, this mod pack is consuming my life because I really want to build that Stargate. <laughs> I really, really want to, and I really want to do like different concepts and things, like like uh, like the concept of turning all the future blocks into gold blocks. We're gonna make a city of gold. That's it's just gonna be amazing at some point. A gold city, but we're gonna need some so many resources. Uh, so I'm hoping my gold ore berry farm will will somehow manage. Dota two GT. Oh, you play Dota? Nice. I've I've watched Dota tournaments. You know when they do the in invitational, but I've never actually played. But I enjoy watching the Invitational. Um, XCOM 2, XCOM 2, I gotta, I gotta do the DLC on that too. I started at some point and then I dropped off. I don't know why. Uh, with the DLC. Yeah, Anno is amazing. RimWorld's amazing. I, I bought it. I didn't buy many. Uh, um. I didn't buy many games chat. I missed out on the Steam sale, but I did buy one RimWorld DLC. I bought uh, Ideology as the DLC. So that's going to be pretty fun to, to check out when I decide to do some uh, RimWorld. Because uh, it seemed to entail a lot of things. So we'll see. Star Sector and Rogue Tech, I've never heard of though. Uh, maybe I should check those out. Don't check. <coughs> so, about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I have. Like, I, I, I did a COVID test chat and it went negative, but I still think I have COVID. Like, I don't, I don't show all the symptoms. I've just missed sneezing and my nose has been like all weird. And the test wrote negative, but you can have false negatives, right? So I'm just like, I have no idea. I mean, I've been wearing a mask and everything on when I go outside. I think sneezing is a sign of COVID. Now, now it's a sign of everything. 
Just a cold, not always COVID. Yeah, now you never really know, right? Because when I got it first, I didn't present present uh, many symptoms. When I first 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 got it. So it was just like, you know. Uh, and then the second time I got was Omega sick. So it's like, I have no idea anymore. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how it works anymore. Uh, but also, what up, what up, Jack? And how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well today. Uh, Star Sector is a space battle simulator with colony building and amazing customized building and modding scene. Rocktech is a mod for Battletech that makes the game be almost one to one with the Battletech universe, which spans like 50 decades. Uh, five decades, not 500 years. Oh, I see. So, does it seem like, uh, I don't know if you've seen like Terra Invicta? Because Terra Invicta is uh, also a game that. It's it's not a it's not a colony building game, but it's a uh, I guess it's a strategy strategy game. Could be better. How's everything going on with me? Uh, well, it's going great now because I can go home and play <laughs> play games. But I guess I I think I am a little sick. But but yeah, I'm happy to be back in my stuff, playing some games, uh, trying to figure out our whole power source. Pretty happy about my beautiful A system. Uh, you know, we got we got some some ore storages, so hopefully we can we can increase that at some point. All of our drives are fully. That's kind of scary. Uh, yeah, A two time hell yeah. Okay, so if I have this kind of started right now. So I would have all of these band up together. Um, I'm just wondering, can I band all of these together in a transformer? I don't think there's a specific transformer to put. What is it? Um, Four, eight, sixteen, twenty amps of HV. So I need to transform forty, uh, twenty amps of HV. And I don't think there is such a thing. Except sixteen amps, and outputs sixty-four amps. Oh, maybe there is. What about this? What up, Hemis? How's it going? Uh, new Dustin Sphere program update is amazing, by the way. Oh, yeah, I want to do that too. Well, oh, wait, Samsa, add Dustin Sphere program to your, your list of games here. You'll get addicted. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, I got to do that too. Hmm. So maybe a uh, high voltage. Wait, so voltage in, that would be amps, 16 amps, voltage out. So I don't want to output 64 amps of HV, do I? Why would I want to output so much amperage? I just want to... Uh, what about... Wait... When it means amps, does that mean like it's 64 times 512 in, in EU? Oh yeah, it is. Kimas, yeah. Would that be it? Uh, as uh, how much it would output? It's so much better multiplayer called the Nebula. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, speaking of uh, multiplayer chat, if... As soon as I get approval this summer for uh, for multiplayer, we're gonna do an I'm gonna do an eco server. As soon as I get my vacation approval, which will be in June, July, 
I know it's kind of far away, but should could could be interesting. Uh, extreme transformer no we're not gonna do that so this is extreme transformer so i don't want to do extreme transformer e eco like the game eco uh eco it's kind of like yeah uh um an ecosystem management game and the goal is that you have to make a, a laser to shoot down an asteroid that's coming towards you uh, that's coming towards the planet, and there's like, uh, yeah, you have to to balance the ecosystem at the same time as progressing through technology. It, it has its ups and downs. It's not like perfect as a game, but uh, it could be an interesting a multiplayer experiment. That's me, me as the mayor. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set a set up a server for that for you, for everyone. The only thing, the only difference is, okay, um, I'm going to have to try to set it up so that maybe it'll be only active when I'm streaming. So people can't play off, like can't advance the whole server when I'm like not streaming. Uh, or when I'm not present because I want to act as the mayor. <laughs> Uh, so that's the only thing I'm going to try to do. Yeah, I want to be the mayor of the, of the city. Okay. Uh, I think we do HV high amp transformer, but it would not connect everything. Unless I would do this. But that's 60. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. If this output's 64 amps, how would you even do the cabling for 64 amps? It would burn all the cabling. Right for HV. If I'm looking at um I'm trying to understand this. Sixty-four amp cable, how? But uh, is there a sixty-four amp cable? Because uh, a sixteen amp, let's say, let's say during um, it would be like the best cable would be still. Oh no, wait, the best cable would be maybe electrum. Oh no, I guess canthal. Do I have so much loss? So that be sixty-four amps. Do I actually need a 64 amp cable? But it says it at output 64 amps. Right? 64, yeah. Wait, accept 16 amps and output 64 amps. Why, why does the amperage say 64 then? If you're only using 60 amps of power, then it won't burn if you use a 16 amp cable. I see. But I want, okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, but will that... Then it, w it wouldn't be useful because, uh... I'm trying to put everything in one battery buffer. So I don't know if this will work well. It's dangerous, but you know, live life on the edge. I think I'm gonna do... I'm going to have to do two transformers. Because um, if I do an EV high amp transformer, right, it accepts four amps of EV and then I put 16 amps. So this is what I want. And, and, and this setup right here can be either uh, can connect by on its own or something. Uh, or. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 16 amps. I suppose like one, one part of the setup can, uh, Maybe like this setup or something. 
can be by itself. I'll figure it out. That's a ninja sign of thinking though, is it is valid to rate your cables by the amount you can pull out. They can easily lead to fires and only rate cable based on how much you can push into them. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Aluminium cable is really good, it's cheap, it has low loss, it carries two amps per X. Wait, it carries two? I thought it carried one. Oh, this changes a lot then. Oh yeah, well, because I was looking at silver. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, then I might try it, try to change something then. Um, if I have that, and this carries a max voltage, twenty forty eight. Wait, does that mean that if I have a uh, So if I have a 16x cable, right? Would I would it would it carry at 2048 times whatever 16? And that's the capacity of EU that uh, that 16x aluminum cable can carry? Or is it still 2048 that it can carry? I'm trying to understand that. Because if it can carry this much power as a 16x aluminum cable, then then, I'm, then I can do the setup that I want to do. If it's just 2048, even though it's NX can do that, okay. So it does work like that. Um, okay. You can read, and the iPhone has two amps of per 1x of cable. Um, oh wait, uh, 148 max amperage. So essentially the amperage is like one amperage is 2048. So if it's 16, that's 16 times 2048 and that's how much power is coursing through. If that's how I'm understanding it. Right, it's not just like cap of 2048, it's based on the amperage. Okay. So capture was correct, okay. Um... Good to know. TVP alloy time. You want your hubris? I have. I have a. I have a TVP alloy coil blocks. Is there losses cables wires in this? There is. There is indeed. Okay. Uh, let's. The, ooh, I don't have any. I don't have any aluminum. Uh oh. Wait. Hold on. Um. Oh no. Did did I take all my aluminum ingots in my E? Yes, I did. I think. TVP alloy. Wait, TPV. Uh, one E per volt, unless unless we superconductors. Wait, oh max amperage. Oh, I see. They're kind of expensive, though. But they're better. Wait, that has a crazy average. Yeah, it's enough to last until LEV. I think we'll do aluminium because we have so much aluminium. But we'll upgrade after, I think. I think that's the play. I think we'll upgrade after. Uh, I'm going to do a test and then, uh, cause, uh, yeah, I think we'll upgrade when we have more power into our system. Cause now we only, we don't have that much diesel. <laughs> so yeah, I have an idea. And, and then in the meantime, we can do the TVP stuff. Like we can start crafting it, stuff like that. Uh, oh, this is kind of getting exciting. S centralizing my power chat is uh, really, really exciting. Oops, I did not mean to. Okay. 
And even taking that 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 break, right? Playing Ixion for the weekend, that'll revitalize it, revitalize my my want to play this mod pack even more. So I'll get even more addicted <laughs> by taking a tiny break. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. Superconductors are generally considered not worth it due to their cost. They are unattainable in LV HV, where the cable loss matters. And later two is the voltage is so high compared to the loss that superconductors are really unnecessary. Yeah, that's what I noticed as well. Um, I feel like the, the, the loss is so minimal after that, that uh, you're just like, well, why bother? I feel like I would be t my, my laziness w would overtake my need for efficiency. <laughs> uh... If that makes any sense. Wait, how much rubber do I have? Oh, okay. That's another issue. Um, okay. So let's do this then. Uh, I have, do I have my, my, my axe I do? It's almost broken though. Do I have any cobalt? I need to repair my axe. I need, I'll need rubber. I don't have any cobalt. Uh, uh oh. Do you have any cobalt dust? And can I cook the cobalt? Cobalt tight. Uh, how do I make cobalt again? I'll probably just from cobalt, but in an EBF. Okay. Cobalt dust and 11, or cobalt dust number one, probably. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can search now. Oh, I have cobalt to here. Man, an AE system is so convenient. It's so convenient. So at least that's repairing. Maybe my my hammer. Same with my cobalt pickaxe. Perfect. You just put this here. Uh, okay. So now let's go farm some rubber trees and plant some more rubber trees. I should probably automate rubber trees or something. Uh, at some point. Probably should. Let me grab some of these. I mean, I should automate a lot of things. How, how's uh, how's my gold? Okay, so my ore berry setup that I spent all all day yesterday doing all, not all day, but it's not fast. But I mean, twenty five is better than nothing. While we're literally doing, not paying attention to that, so. Eventually, we'll have quite a bit. Okay, and let's do that. Uh, what up, Evangel? How's it going? Hello, hello. How was, uh, how was your stream? But also, thank you for the raid. We're, we're trying to upgrade our power setup. Uh, do they need almost complete darkness? They do. Yeah. The little ore berries need almost complete darkness. Hey, you're learning, Jackson. Soon you'll be also be an expert in Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Soon. It'd be like as if you played yourself. Okay. There we go. That's the killing for a bow for rerolling villagers. Rerolling villagers, huh? Interesting. Oh, are you still doing the um yeah, you're doing the, uh, whatchamacallit? That one base setup? Or that, that one chunk setup? Or is that, uh, is that experiment still going? Okay, let's see if I can't grow any things here. Yeah, the one chunk base, that's it. Aha, I do remember. <laughs> 
sometimes I pay attention. Okay, well let's see if I can't uh, can't plant a few trees here. Planted a few slime trees that I can harvest at some point. Huh? Okay. I guess I couldn't reach. What you want to do some Stone Age Thumbcraft, so you need a heretic for one. Oh I see. You know what? Thumbcraft is a thing I need to get more into at some point. When when we get to IV. Yeah, I think this should be enough for those slime trees. 30 arrows, no heretic. Uh, I think I actually got my Thalmanomicon from a heretic that died in the village. I think it's Spider got him. Can't be certain, but I, I looted a, a book while I was exploring. Okay, uh, slime. IV, that's the character's 82 attitude, yeah. Uh, there we go. So it isn't, it isn't much here? Wait. Oh yeah, there we go. But it'll be a tiny bit of rubber. Why is, uh, oh, I see. I understand now. It, w it was, uh, it wasn't positioned properly. There we go. Now the sulfur works. As I have Harmony high tiers just now, starting Britannia, really. Hmm. You know, I was thinking, uh, uh, I was looking at the, um, Feed the Beast wiki, uh, not, not wiki, Feed the Beast, um, Reddit. And there's lots of interesting uh, mod packs that are coming up too. Like one, one is like a, um, they did some sort of like thing where you have to like configure the molecular composition of chemistry stuff. Uh, don't remember what mod pack it's called, but it seems really, really interesting. Interesting as in a complicated, in a complicated way. There you go. And there we go. And there we go. Uh, that's not much aluminum wires, but you know, it's, it's something. You know, the Feed the Beast team will have an expert coming out in February somewhere and another expert pack later in the year. Hopefully something Greggy. Hopefully. I mean, I'll still be playing GTNH, but... It, uh... More mod packs is always a good thing. Always a good thing. Okay, oh, uh... Should I have done 16x? Yeah, I'll just get you doing 16x, I guess. I'll f future proof some things. Okay. So 16x, eh? So that, that would, could sustain a lot more EV. So does that mean, okay, if a 16x works here, um, I can just use all these transformers, right? So this this steps up to to age of one amp of EV. So one, two, three, four, five. So technically, I could have done an eight eight amp connection here. 
I would save a lot more cable. Uh, let's okay. Let's keep the eight amp of um of this because I want to convert everything to uh in one transformer. But we already have the transformers built here, so I don't want to like rebuild something entirely new. Uh, let's just put this away for now. We will use al al these aluminum cables. Another. We'll make it an eight axis then. I have an idea. Because 8x is way less expensive. If Pack doesn't need little trillions of items to finish, is it even expert? True. Is it even Greg? I don't think so. If if you don't get a headache while building, is it truly a good mod pack? Uh, that is the question. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you don't get a headache. Should it even be downloaded? Okay, uh, yeah, 8x would be good. Hmm. Okay, uh, we need more aluminium. And I should cook more aluminium as well. So, can this aluminium be cooked standalone? I don't know if it can. Or does it use carbon as well? I think it uses carbon, but I can't be certain. Uh, number one is xenon. Uh oh. Oh no, okay, we're good, we're good. He uses a lot of power, but that's fine. Because that's cancel. Okay. 16 seconds, perfect. So we'll make we'll make a whole bunch. Can you straight up craft the 16x wire in the wire mill? Oh you can, but I uh I never uh I always uh, forget. Old ban old habits die hard. <laughs> okay. I guess I could uh and I could also build it in the assembling machine as well. Because if I do 16x, I just use this for uh all my recipes. Okay. Um I need if I if I have all my transformers, I need to put it in a battery buffer, right? And then several battery buffer. Uh, not battery buffer, battery charger, right? I think. Because uh, the biggest battery buffer is... If we have an EV... Oh yeah, I would have... I need an EV. I'm going to charge it back down. I feel like I'd be losing a lot of power potential out of this. By doing this. Because essentially, I'm powering it back up. Hmm. Because it's e EV right now, right? So what's happening is that we're powering back, uh, we're stepping it up to EV. We'll be transferring it up here. And then we'll be stepping it down to EV. That's, that's kind of a... I feel like I, maybe I should do... Should do quad cell sodium batteries. I mean, it'd be even easier for lithium, but I don't have lithium. Um, quad cell sodium batteries. And I want to do an IV uh, battery buffer. And then I would continue. Yeah, I would do that. It's going to be expensive in batteries, but F it. Let's do it. Uh, voltage in, voltage out. Yeah, that, that's the play. Uh, EV machine hole. We have titanium plate. We can do this. Uh, yeah, let's do that. But don't I want to do... Um, a battery charger instead? Each battery gives 
8 amps in, 4 amps out. Because wouldn't that be... Oh, I see. Wait. Yeah, that would just give more the same thing, right? Um, I would have less, bigger, better capacity, though. Hmm. What would be better? An extreme voltage battery charger that has... Oh, I don't... I can't build this. I don't have lap crystal, crystals. Two, oh, only two amperage? No, no, let's just do this then. Um, let's do a battery buffer, but 16 slots for EV. Okay. Uh, so we just need a machine hull. Is it a machine hull or the other one? Or casing? And also, I'll need a bunch of titanium. And yeah, it'll be 16 slots, so we're going to need to make a lot of batteries. Machine hull. Uh, okay, so do I even have titanium seats? I do. We're trying to make this work. Um, machine casing, machine hull. Oh, we need aluminum cables. Don't I have that? Gold cables. Um, ah, there we go. Man, my, my brain is still kind of fried from work. <laughs> I, have so, I have so much work stuff to do. Uh, but this is kind of relaxing. Oh, 16 x aluminum wire, same. I need, I need a chest. Uh, do I have a chest? Chat, why are video games so good? Video games are so relaxing. And, and to me, like, some if something's so complex... Complexity or like uh, difficulty in games kind of make me. Oh, what did I do? Okay, I have no idea what I built. Uh oh. No, 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 halt. Oh, maybe may, may machine casing, so that's fine. Yeah, we can use that. Um, I wanted to make chests. Okay, envy machine casing and EV. Okay, that's fine. Because, yeah, if, uh, um, for me, like, it's kind of relaxing to play games that are, like, difficult in a way. Like, if something is, like, uh, if I play on, like, hardcore mode or something, I, I take enjoyment of the challenge. Out of the challenge. <laughs> Even if I fail several times. Okay, let's do that. So, does that mean we have some aluminium? We do. Yeah, uh, remember doing that yourself? Crafting them down works and that 16 next recipe was faster, was it? Yeah, I just, uh... I guess old, old the Hambus die hard. <laughs> uh, the, you know, speaking of old the Hambus die hard, using my A2 system here is going to be tough to... tough to get used to. Because I'm so used to putting things in, in treasure chests. So I'm going to be like, well. Now I have to grab things out of uh, the E system instead. Okay, one, two. I have to be organized in a different way. Okay. Yeah, and I used to have it all in one place. So it's going uh, to be interesting. Okay, uh, EV 16 slots, I think. That's the best thing I can do right now. Unless there's a 32 slots, but I don't think there is. I think 16 slot is the biggest battery buffer I can make. Okay. 
So this should be good for all my my stuff. Oh god, it's human. Um and so I guess I'll do the power will come through here. Um Right, so yeah. And so now I need to make all the batteries. You want to sleep though? Have a good stream, uh, sir. Well, thanks so much for hanging out, Hubris. In chat, thank you so much for for being here and all that good stuff. I'll be uh, streaming another different game tomorrow, but I think that'll be a nice breather. Yeah, we need a lot, lots of large sodium batteries, and then we do the the quad cell. Uh, we do have some okay high voltage transformer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Um, a long while. Do we have a small scenario battery? I do, don't I? Uh, let's take this small scenario battery. That could probably work in there, couldn't it? I got this battery off of a loot bag. Wait, why did I get a quest now though? Oh, probably because I didn't have it charged or something. Um, Storing transforming. Okay, oh, I can I need to make these. Yeah, that's what I'm making. Perfect. Small scenario banners are EV tiers. Some might think they're cheaper than Labertrons, but it depends on the scenario and they hold less energy. Wait, okay. How do I get some scenario though? Can I make get scenario now? I don't think I can. Because if I could, then it would be amazing. What up, Brian? How's it going? Let's check the weather. Uh, probably not the best idea to do so. This I don't think it's announcing good weather. It's, it's at your own risk. Scenario peace. Oh, and a molecular transformer. Okay, I can't. It's not snow. Uh... I need pile of snare glowing crystal, you, you matter. It's absolutely not snowing. Oh, Nanaqua. Nanaqua makes that icy. So yeah, I can't do snare just yet. That's fine. We will get lucky in getting getting things off of mortar banks. But it does work here. Oh yeah, it does work here. So at least there's that. I wait six uh, six million. Oh, yeah. Let's not use that here. The quant cells are even better. Quant cell lithium, yeah. Ideally, we would use quant cell lithium, but we can't. We can't afford. What up, Adam? How's it going? Hello, hello. It's going well, sir. Uh, just you know, just hang out, chill. Wait, not in a wire mill. Uh, in the assembly machine. No, in, uh, in the assembly machine. Because okay. that's EV, I think. Yeah, it is. What am I working on? I'm working on overhauling my power. So we're going to try to centralize all of our, our diesel power to one central place. Uh, at least that's the hope. So that so that I can have more better capacity, because right now power is split, and I'm using like a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of uh, everything. And so now the power will be evenly distributed, and I'll have more capacity to do the things that I need to do. Uh, what am I How's it going? It's Friday, chat. It's Friday. I'm pretty excited. Even though I only worked two days at work this week, uh, I really, really wanted to go home. Yeah. So I'm glad I'm glad to be, to be home. Uh, okay, 8x aluminium cables. So we'll take these 8x. We're going to need a lot more, though. 
Um, and I guess, I think I can have cables in the rain, right? It doesn't really matter. Well, I suppose we don't need it that be, for them to be in the rain, but we'll do something like this. Um, okay, 8x here. Yeah, that's fine. 8x of EV is fine. When we need to upgrade to 16x, we'll just, you know, strip these cables and then redo them. Um, I suppose I could do something like this, like so. Where's my, uh, where's my toolbox? Hold on, where's my toolbox? Do I have home time getting burrito, chips, guac, and flan? I need, I need all the food. Uh, did I put my toolbox in here? Where's my toolbox? It's missing. It's right here. <laughs> I got worried for a second. You know, because I have very important tools in there. There we go. Uh, and then we have more aluminium cables. And then we need to make even more. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna bring the cables down, and then we're gonna bring them back here, so we can kind of like um. Yeah, okay. Uh, we could do it from the bottom. Okay, yeah, uh, let's go from the top. Eh? Um, that's gonna be interesting. Me, like the aluminum cable could, could uh, pop out here. Because this is connecting. What is this connected to? Connecting to the bottom, me. Eh? Um, hmm. And some of these are connecting to the top. So I gotta I gotta watch out here. So the best way for me to do this would be eventually I would link powers outputting this way. I would have to have another cable that brings, because I would have like an output cable over there that would redistribute everything. Uh, would I redistribute everything? I suppose it wouldn't. I would need another battery buffer after that. I would need a 4 amp battery buffer. Hmm. Because this outputs 16 amps. Because it's all EV stuff. Okay. It's not gonna have to like visualize this. <laughs> to make sure that, that I don't blow my whole thing up. Okay. Because yeah, this this outputs the or this will output like 16 amps of EV. Uh with this extreme voltage better buffer. Uh Right, so if this is extreme voltage battery buffer, 16 amps. Hmm. So then I could, um, if this is 16 amps, will a regular transformer? Uh, I guess it, I don't need the transformer. We have 4 amps. So I gotta watch out for that. So I need to like step it down from the 16 amp. 
or rather split it between even more better buffers. Uh, if I'm understanding correctly. Right, so this is extreme voltage battery buffer, and then I need... Um... With a couple more. So now I'll need the EV banner buffer, but that is just extreme voltage battery buffer. Right? I need I'll only need four of these. Uh four. Yeah. And that would work. And then I could split it off for more power. Oh, technically just two. Two would work, right? Because it would take... Because I'm trying to lower the amount of uh, power distributed. But I don't know if that's the... That would cut off the uh, the power in that, that I need. Well, let's fill this up first, then then we'll, we'll go from there. Because, yeah, I definitely want to centralize that power. But I don't want to blow things up at the same time, so I gotta make sure that there's enough buffers so that if if machines request more for some reason or another, they don't blow my shit up, <laughs> or they don't burn all the wiring. Uh, and that's gonna be a bit more complex than I think here. Okay. So if I can make some EV machine hulls, maybe one, two, three, and then maybe I need four. Hopefully no explosions, or you know, if there is, I guess, content. <laughs> uh, you know, content. Some of you are ready to clip, you know, so at least there's, there's that. Okay, although making these banners is extremely slow. Uh, but yeah, let's start slow uh, battery. Because we might need to make more circuits for these. Even though we're just doing sodium batteries, but uh, oh, I need high voltage transformer. Yeah, that's all I'm building. So if I need that, I need a uh, what? So for 16 batteries, I need 32 processor assemblies as well. I mean, I don't need to build them all at the same time. Just eventually, I'll have to like step it up. So just one one battery will be good for now, and then we'll see. High voltage transfer. Oh yeah, I need more. Um, I'll need more of those too. The HV machine hole. Because yeah, making the batteries themselves will be a big endeavor. Uh, aluminium cable. Because again, that's going to help my setting boosted diesel a lot and my wind power as well. Uh, and some other things. Okay, we'll build one of these. Um, so we're probably going to be using a couple of streams doing this. But I, I kind of need that because uh, it'll be easier to progress. I won't even need to do nuclear right away. I might just be able to do some wind power instead. Um, Uh, buffer. Do I need a buffer? No, I need a um, battery. So that I need four sodium batteries. And then I need four gold cable. Do I have that here? I do. Okay. You can put those gears away because I don't need the gears right away. Regenerators. 
and then I can grab these batteries. We're going to need more sodium though, but I can make sodium easily, so. I think it's just with salt or something. But I might also need more more batteries. I, I don't think this amount of batteries is going to be enough. More battery holes. Um, qual cell sodium. Do I have quant cell housing? Can it, can it be? Oh, I see. It will go back down to four large batteries. Well, that's not great. Because then lithium would be way easier. Right? Way better, right? But I don't have lithium. So the lithium would be the most economic, uh, economical. But yeah, I would need to gather a lot of lithium for this. Like just this one quad cell, it would cost like a lot. Maybe I could do uh, some cadmium though. Like do a mix of things. Uh, in here, I totally forgot. Yeah, uh, lithium. Okay, don't have enough lithium. Cadmium. I could do some cadmium, that'd be two stacks. So I can at least do one cadmium better here. Wait, does that mean that I got the uh, quant cell lithium? We get more lithium dust. Damn it. Hmm. I do have a lot of lithium batteries. Oh, that'd be good. I do have a lot of lithium batteries in another system that I could recycle. Okay. So we'll see if that works. But for now, we'll do we'll do the sodium. Uh, okay, let's grab this. Do the cadmium here. Well, I need to do the ore processing line because I don't think we're ore processing at all right now. So we'll hook that up. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so if it's ore processing, um, hmm. I would do something like, I mean, I don't have enough cabling, but I would, I would essentially snip the ore processing. Oh, what is the ore processing anyways? Okay, pull that. I think it's, is it right here? Um, there's so much smog, actually. I think it's this one. Wait. Maybe it isn't. That ore processing line. Hmm. I see, let's just go up here. Go this way. Okay. Um, hmm. So if this ore processing right here... Is it going to ore processing? This is not even ore processing. This is... Oh, maybe it is. When I have HV... And it's going all the way to ore processing. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can't unhook this part. Uh, so I have to take the other one. Oh, that's the cleaner of me. Um, 
That's another tricky part. Maybe you can do that. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Because then I can attach the ore processing to the clean room. Um, because one is operating with a distillery. This is so odd. I totally didn't realize that that was operating the distillery as well. So that's the distillery. This is the, all the uh, the other EBFs here. Not EBFs, uh, the LCRs. Spaghetti wires? Yeah, that, that's why I'm like trying to fix it. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to see what I can unhook first. And apparently not not that. EBF one. No, I need the EBF one. Clean room and machines. PTFE upstairs. That could be interesting. Um Wait a second. Do I really need need this? Couldn't I just hook it up anyways? Because we're just powering something, right? Um, I suppose I could. In some ways. I suppose I could. So if I did this... I will replace the... Uh, this output for the the, um, the clean room, so I could start cutting this off and put it replacing the aluminum cables, and then it would go still go all the way over here, and I would need to connect it over here. So it's a bit of cabling, but it be it still work. Okay, so that's what I gotta do. I figured it out. Yeah, spaghetti of cables. But we'll make it work. Because then, then it'll be all centralized into one input of wire. Hopefully. Uh, also... The water is not helping. Um, do I have any other blocks here that I can use? Maybe th this dirt. Okay, so yeah, I will connect this. And then, eventually when I reach this, I'm gonna have to like, start to disconnect it, I suppose. I need more. Okay. I need a lot more. Because, wait, yeah. So we're gonna connect to here, and then we're gonna have the 8x cable go all the way down to here. And connect to this. I suppose if we're not connecting everything, it can still be a like an one amp for now. But we'll transition it. You wonder why you haven't blocked off the water earlier? Yeah, I'm gonna need to build a lot of blocks here. I'm gonna need to make a basement. It's uh definitely on the list of things to do. Oh god, that list is growing, isn't it? That list is definitely growing. Okay. <laughs> Naughty dungeon. There's a... You're gonna make... A power dungeon. The ultimate power... Dungeon. Okay, there we go. Uh, 8x. Okay, uh... Do we need this gold wire? Oh, yeah, we had the cadmium, did we? K 
He can be on batteries, or we will eventually. So we'll make a little bit of everything for batteries. Ooh, I did not mean to do this. We'll grab these cables. So at least making 4x aluminum cables won't be too too bad. Uh, still will need a lot though, but at least aluminum is easy to get. And hopefully we can get uh, more rubber as well. We are our trees grown. Mm, they are. Uh, they are indeed. Okay. Let's put some stuff back. My crop six can put those away. Let's go on the uh, rubber tree hunting spree. Also, let's check how much gold we got here. How much has the ore berries performed? 47 dust. You know, that's not bad, actually. 47 dust for doing absolutely nothing. Uh, eventually, we'll have a lot of gold. Because it, it'll add up, right? I mean, sure, I could have it could be more efficient, maybe with the glow flowers. But glow flowers um, take a lot more energy to centrifuge. Meanwhile, these take barely energy at all. I need an X. But when we have a lot of energy, then you know we'll probably transition to glow flowers or something. We'll replace the ore berries. And the macer that we have there to uh, just centrifuge. Centrifuge and, and redstone. There we go. That's going to be a good amount of rubber. Yeah, recentralizing that power would be nice because then I could have multiple sources of energy and it'll work a lot better. The only thing is upgrading it, I'm gonna have to be careful upgrading the system. Right? Changing the whole whole um I guess power input outputs. But I guess I can do some transformers and stuff in the meantime. Because then I can start using machines like, for example, if I'm not using my EBF, right? That power can be re redirected to other machines that I'm using. And we can keep expanding that way. Because some of my power right now is kind of like decentralized. And it, and it just isn't cutting it out. Cutting out because uh, I have a lot of like untapped power potential right now. Because of everything, how decentralized everything is. I was thinking about that today. I was like, "Hmm, how do I how do I do this?" I think I've got a picture now. We detained en route to the Aza, to, to your to your home. Well, hopefully the food is amazing. You know, I haven't eaten fast food since the New Year. I'm doing good right now. They're doing really, really good right now, actually. Now I'm just gonna gotta get better in my food journey. Okay. Maybe I'll get uh, uh maybe I'll get sushi at some point though, because uh, sushi's healthy, right? It's basically just spice and fish. Uh, but I do have a question for those who are, are food versed. What goes well with sushi? Right, what would be a dish that would like supplement the sushi? Because I don't want to like buy a whole bunch to be fully, fully full just off of sushi. 
So where will go well to accompany it? Hmm. I do wonder. Maybe I could get like a tiny bit of sushi and maybe I can get some curry at the same time. Because curry, curry is so good. I think that'd be a pretty good meal for the weekend. Uh, okay, so I have that. Yeah, ever since I discovered curry chat, I, I literally cannot get enough of it. It is absolutely amazing. Okay, there we go. We can have cadmium batteries. Um, hmm. And then, okay, uh, do we have the, the aluminium? We do. That would just make, well, that would make quite a bit. I guess eight, eight, eight X cables. So a stack of aluminium is eight, eight X cables. See, eh? that's not that much, but it is what it is. Um, aluminium. So I least have quite a bit of aluminium dust to process into my EVF. Oh, I could do an EV muffler now, right? That'd be nice. Oh, I also have a lot of alumina, alumina to process. That could probably be decently good to process, uh, to make what I need. Okay, so we'll make some more of these, we'll get more cables. Because we can we can plug in other other things uh, as we go here. We don't need to unplug our devices just yet. We'll just unplug everything when we uh when we start doing the outputs. We'll just charge all the batteries first and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay, more NX aluminum wires. Part of me was thinking like maybe I should have done 16x, but I mean 16x wires is so expensive. So, so, so expensive. Okay. At least we're getting uh, some rubber here, some much needed rubber. So 29 cables, not bad. 30 cables. So that should be good to connect at least. I'll also... We have this. Okay. 4x cadmium batteries. Um, I do want to make, I guess, quad cell cadmium. That's a tiny bit better. Quasal Cadmium, we could do Transformer. And we could do Quasal Cadmium. Boom. Oh, uh, wait. There we go. And I guess I could do more, um, more Quasal Sodium. Because that's all we got right now. We're gonna need more battery holes. Okay. So we can increase our power capacity eventually by either choosing to recycle the sodium to transform to lithium at some point, 
It's been kind of a bit of circuits, circuit recycling, but I mean, I guess that's fine. I suppose. Okay, so right now we have what a capacity of uh, a lot of millions to 10 million. That's a lot already. And we're just beginning. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of capacity. Okay, so if we go right here. <laughs> we're falling to the water. Uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be some of the stuff that we need here. So if I connect this, hopefully I don't break anything. Uh, let's do slash backup. Uh, and then we'll connect it as soon as we back it up. I think this, this just will charge. Oh wait, how long does it take to back up? Oh, we just had a backup. So if this is connected, we can we can cut off the wires at some point. But so if this be the clean room, so this should be like capped out, right? Yeah, this should be capped out because now we're we're extracting a ton of power into this. Right, we're charging up this these batteries. Uh, so it's gonna take a lot of charging up. That's fine. Right, so once these are charged up, we can start, you know, redistributing. Um, eventually. So, yeah, this will take in if I 16. Oh, wait. Well, it's true. We don't, we don't have, uh, we don't have the inputs. Wait, does that mean this battery buffer can go on the side as well? Yeah, I guess I could just do 8x from two sides. I don't know if that'll work, actually. I guess we'll see. Um, I think it can only be from one side that t the input works. That'll be a lot of power. Um, so if this has 16, then the output is 16 amps of EV. So 16 amps of EV uh, would have, oh yeah, we're going to need a lot of batteries for this project. It'll be worth it, but we're going to need a lot of batteries. Because then uh, that means I need... Oh wait, exchange voltage of battery buffer, so I wouldn't be able to do this. So 4x would work then, because 4 times 2, wait, would that work? 4x EV. It'd be four batteries. Four batteries would be two, two, four, six, eight. So technically, the extreme voltage battery buffers would just intake eight, which is fine. I just need to have a cabling of sixteen here, though. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I get in there. We'll need the cabling of sixteen and two EV battery buffers. That's the best thing I can do. So we can have like two two EV battery buffers like here or something. Because uh, we're going to have a line. 
and then two EV battery buffers here, and then the two EV battery buffers would output what four amps of EV. Would that be enough for each transformer here? No, because each transformer, um, would take one amp of EV. So we're going to have to power down even more. In some way. Can I power something down even more with one block? Transformer. Hmm. Oh, I could do the HV. That'd be Amber 64. Yeah, that would not work. Um. Four amps. That's HV, right? No, that'd be a high voltage transformer. EV to HV, 4 amps. And this is a high voltage transformer. Yeah, yeah. So, 1 amp of EV. And then it would be a. So, that's a step of 1, one amp of EV. And the high amp is 16 amps. But I don't want to put six put out 16 amps of HV. Okay. So I was trying to find a way to, to not have to like power down a lot, but I'm gonna have to. Which is fine. <laughs> We're just, just gonna need a whole lot more batteries than I thought I would need. But again, we don't need to fill, fill in all the batteries just yet. Because then I can increase my power capacity after. I like even just a few batteries here and that'll be fine. So I basically would split it to I don't think I would transform it yet. I guess I could just do better buffers. Because that will work just as well. So basically, basically what I would do is two slots of extreme voltage battery buffers. So let's make these. Yeah, because that's 8 amps each. Uh, wait, would I blow things up though? It just requires 8 amps. It'd be too many amps for the machine. For the battery buffer. Unless it just requests. It just requests, so it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the requesting has a chance to burn out the cables, but if the cables are higher grade, then it's fine. Ooh. <laughs> I had to think about that for, for a moment. Uh, yeah, so basically, I don't need the 9 slot here, I just need the 4 slot instead. 2 4 slots, and then I need 4x aluminum wire. Okay. Because we didn't have the 8 slot for some reason. Um, we need some chests. Do I have some chests here? I do. So now we just need the aluminum wires. Which we need a lot of now, I suppose. Uh, I wonder if I can put lower tier batteries in the higher tier battery buffers. Would that even work? Or does it have to be EV style only? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if that would work.
So 4x, uh, we need one here. And more 4x here. There we go. So I have 8x. And we would do um, two of these. So I have two extreme voltage battery buffers. So what I would do now is kind of connect these two. I mean, I'll do something like this. Right, so that'll put power down to, I suppose, four amps of EV. Right, four amps of EV. And then I would have kind of connections here. Um, I would need eight. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more, lot more titanium. Let's go get our, our uh, titanium and let's go and um, put in a vacuum freezer right away. Yeah, we're gonna need, I guess, eight um, things here. At least we got a lot of titanium. There we go. Oh, oh, the silicon solar grid. I totally forgot about that. Okay. But when some power is going to be centralized, I guess this power won't be centralized just yet. But I'm sure I can uh, figure something out with that section. It's more for a diesel. Okay, let's put our poly stuff here. Because, you know, we have a, an A system now. Okay, so now while well, that's cooling down, uh, we still have an EV machine hole. Let's uh, try to get more chests here because we need it. Okay, we'll make that. And so now we need like eight. Um, Wait. I suppose, yeah, I suppose I could do this. Extreme voltage battery buffer like this. Just one battery. to be one amp of EV. Uh, and I will need eight of these. How hard is it to make the E2 drives? Probably a a good next project to get everything in there uh it's not as not too too hard it just takes time because we've been making a lot of them but uh yeah it just takes time and the thing is that the more drives we add the more power it takes right so that's the other issue the more power it takes So these two will power all these, eight of these. And then maybe I can even, uh... Hmm. Bring these back a little bit. So it'll connect to... I guess it'll connect in the back here. And these will connect in the back here. And then I would like um it would go underground. And each of these would just be like one x, uh, one amp aluminum wires, and it would go to like their their respective places, whether it's like clean room, uh, etc. And 
And that'd be that'd be much much cleaner. Okay. Um, we do need to fill this up though a tiny bit. Okay, so now I just need more more aluminium, and it might solve some of our power power uh, pollution problems. Maybe, I guess we'll see. Starting to look pretty rich, starting, but we need a lot more. We need more. Okay. Soon, soon, we're like my whole theme that I'm thinking now. We're gonna make a city of gold chat. Okay, every block here will be gold related. Maybe not the glass though, but like all the future blocks will be gold. We'll turn into the, are you rich yet meme? Into an actual meme. Into an actual thing. Uh, it'll be amazing. I cannot wait. Uh, I need a I guess some 16x cables. How many 16x cables do I need? Oh wait, don't I already have some 16x cables here that I made? Yeah, I do. Okay. Or maybe even infinity blocks. I mean, or platinum blocks. Hmm. I like the I like the gold though because it has it has like a blocks that, with chisels. Um. Right, it has all of these different types, which is amazing. And I, and I want the uh, these guys: golden star and purple obsidian, and and uh, an obsidian. Right, you have like the shipping crates, thermal, bolted platings. Like it's just fantastic. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But uh, maybe does platinum have? Now, just a decorative platinum block. Okay, there's just a tiny block here. What about a uh, infinity? Oh, does it have a block block? It does. You know, that might be a space thing. Uh, maybe we'll do infinity blocks in space or something. A space station made out of infinity blocks. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That could be interesting. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now we'll need like some some EV stuff here. So if this is four amps each, right? Uh, that we're outputting. Because it's going to be like, yeah, four amps each. Then I can go back to 8x aluminum cables. Because it's going to be, yeah. 8x. And boom. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're going to have eight of these battery buffers here. And so then we'll have a, a good amount of things. The only thing is that like when we get to um, some other power production, like once we get into like um, IV, I can step, I can may maybe make um, something a tiny bit better in the sense that we can maybe make some transformers to do graphene cables instead to have less of a power loss but we'll we'll do that like later but it doesn't need to be urgent but yeah because those those cables will be able to transport things even further oh yeah we need more batteries we need more sodium how do you get sodium again is it is it with clay is it with salt? I think it's with salt. And we're gonna need to make more of these circuits.
Quantum cadmium, quantum sodium. Quark's gold kibble. Yoink. Minimum lithium. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, I need stainless steel. Oh, no. We haven't made stainless steel in a, long, a super long while. Uh-oh. We're out of stainless steel. Um. Well, then. Yeah, that, that power adventure is going to take more time than I thought. <laughs> it's going to take more time than I thought. And that's fine. That's fine. We can slowly get there. We don't need to hook up everything to the centralized power yet. We'll just do a tiny bit here and there. We'll do it prog progressively. I mean, we'll do it all now, but... Or for forever how long the stream will take, but... Uh, machine hole... Aluminium cable, could take that. Now, I could hear a spider, but I wasn't sure if it was uh, on me or not. Okay, uh, muscle sodium, nice. So for that, we could do we could do something simple here, right? We could do something like this, right here. Quantile sodium. You could see leave the quantile cadmium, cadmium here, and the sodium could be like in here, right? Boom. And then we can start filling these in to get more more capacity over time. Uh, and then I would do. What would I, what would I hit first? I could do my EBF first. If I do my B EBF first, um, yeah, I'll probably be over here. So I'll just take the, this guy. There we go. I'll put this here. Now we need more aluminium. But I could connect it at least. Um, hmm. Yeah, I just need aluminium cables. Oh, my music. There you go. Yeah, I oh mean, this mod pack is getting more and more fun now because uh, I feel like I'm finally getting into the, the meat of the game in some way. Right, I have like a lot of things at my disposal now. And it's just like figuring out how to do those processes. And it's kind of super fun, actually. <laughs> Uh, it really is. Okay, so now I'd like cut this down. And try to get to this location. Well, hello, Spooter. <laughs> well, hello. Okay, so now I would take this cable 
Let me bring it across here. And give it a go. Uh, can I build stone here so I don't fall? Maybe. Maybe. So what about my EB EBFB? My ABF is right here, located right here, eh? I think, I believe. Is it? I think it is. It has to be. Kind of hard to see, but okay, so we can kind of like. It doesn't have to be perfect here, but we'll grab that. We we'll have to make sure to disconnect though, because having two cables going to the same thing not a good idea. That's where explosions can happen. I mean, I mean, do we like explosions? I'm not sure. I mean, I do like things going boom, but not not for my own things. Uh, okay, so can I can I make a uh, a passageway here? Maybe yeah, maybe I can make a proper flooring at some point without enemies uh, spawning underground or something. Very nice. Yeah, that water was from when I was actually grabbing water uh, to supply my, my stuff. Before or after you make a door? Hmm. Good call. I maybe maybe uh, maybe after. Right? I'll i I'm totally gonna make a door, right? Totally is it's totally gonna happen in this playthrough. But also, what are doors? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh wait, there's a cable right here. What am I powering here? Um. Huh? Oh my machines. Okay, um, I could do this, wait, powering my machines, eh, hmm, that's powering my E system. I could, I could hardly see anything here. Uh, can I put a block here with some torches? Maybe? So I can I could see. You see what's happening here? There I go. Be fair, you haven't dined it in the base in a while? True. Uh, but I have dined in the, in the, the nether a couple of times. I have done that. Okay, so what I could do, I suppose, for these machines, because they'll be they'll be after. Um, or I could do something like, boom. I'll just make like a, a passageway. Okay. 
and then we'll be good. Just so I can go directly to my ABF. For now. Um, but we will have to fix this in the sense that like, it won't be the first, uh, the first thing I suppose. Okay. Wait, what are these? Are those steam things? Hmm, I have to, I'll have to check that out. I have no idea what those are. Wait, there's another cable here? What's this cable lead to? Oh, my A system. Um, oh, that's fine, that's fine. Actually, that would be nice to connect it to my e-system right away. Or have like one thing connect connecting to my e-system. Yeah, I can hardly see anything and yeah this water is so annoying champ I think at some point I'm just gonna go down with a lot of blocks and just cover everything yeah, well now I can't see okay, and now I need to be careful not to connect them just yet I'll need to disconnect this. The spaghetti must grow, it must grow. It cannot stop. Okay, so now I'll do I'll do this. So now my EBF's turned off. Now my ABF's turned on. So with that being said and done, let's go all the way back. Man, my uh, pollution is getting really bad. Or oh, starving. Maybe that's why. It's not the pollution is uh, uh, starving. Well then, okay, now we're good. That's why I was moving so slow. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, you didn't know, you just forgot to eat. Okay. So is this turned on now? Yeah, 239, okay. So this is good, right? So basically, um, what's happening here is where our, is the EBF one? I think it's the clean room and machines. It's drawing for the EBF. But now the EBF one isn't doing anything. Um, so now we're going to mix both together. We're going to need more wires. Because we don't have the capacity right now. Or don't have the full on capacity. But we're definitely getting there. We're just going to need to make a lot more quad cell. Quad cell batteries. Okay, uh, more sodium. Uh, 
And the Kwanzaa batteries won't necessarily be too, too bad. Um, once we, we have them all set up here. Okay, I need one more and I need more, another high voltage. Console sodium. Because then, then I can connect something else other than my EBF. Let's grab the more aluminium. I can connect on all the cleaner room or something. So uh, the 16x aluminium cables, we don't need those anymore for now. Now we need the 8x. Um and we need more ANX actually. This won't be enough for what we need. Definitely will not be enough. Uh, wait, oh yeah, I guess that's fine. Because uh, I guess we can put it down to, to 8. Oh, wait. So we we'll craft this to 16. But then it will go back down to here. I can't do an 8x8. Eh? Yeah, okay. So it's the same amount of clicking and crafting, I suppose. A 23 8x, that's nice, that's what I need. And then I can get all the other stuff. Um, oh yeah, can't, can't I get more rubber here? We have a lot of rubber now, actually. This is amazing. And we need more sulfur, which we have a lot of. Let's get that sulfur. Man, that's so convenient. The A system is so, so, so convenient. Okay. Yeah, having more centralized things is, is going to be amazing. Wait, raw rubber dust? Why isn't it a uh, top conveyor module? One stack with five seconds as cover. Uh, does that mean that it's not properly configured? Maybe it isn't. Yeah, now now it's covered good properly. Uh, but does that mean it's gonna take in all the sulfur instead of the raw rubber dust if it runs out? I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge if it does. Because then we take out the conveyor and we just keep the, uh, the item hopper. Okay. So at least that's processing. Let's grab these aluminum cables. And now, uh, I suppose what I can do... Okay, they're all... In the back, they're all connected, right? Yeah, they are. Except for these, I guess for these two. These two should be connected. Uh, yeah, they should. Because then we have um, 8x. Yeah. Or we will have 8x.
Okay, so that's good. Uh, we'll grab the more of the sodium battery. And then we'll need more sodium, actually. All the sodium. Another quad cell. So the other quad cell probably be best to put here. Um, what we'll do is we'll kind of connect them clo more closely together. Hmm. We'll kind of like do the same thing. Okay, don't need the sacks. There we go. We'll connect these. Nice. Uh, and then we'll put the quad cell here. It'll charge up. Should charge up. It's connected. Okay. Average input five ten. Oh, that's fine. Because now, now we're uh, yeah. Now we don't have enough input. Which is expected. Um, because now we're going to connect the EBA section and the clean room and machine section. Let's so go down here. Um, I gotta watch out here. Is this a clean room section? Oh, wait. I can only change the EBF. Wait, how did this work again? <laughs> Uh, let's hook up to, oh, we need to be 8x, wouldn't it? Hold on. Because if I'm powering the EBF, well, I have to make that 8x for it temporarily. Because I don't want to burn the power and I don't want to destroy all my machines as well. This is getting kind of spaghetti. Unless I just, uh, cause I'm powering the EBF with my clean room machine. So technically I should take just the EBF power. So I was going to say, technically, I should have made that power over there reroute to um, the clean room. Oh, I, I maybe have an idea. Okay. Maybe. Where's my other connection? Wireless power would be great right about now? Yeah, it really wouldn't. But it, we're definitely not there yet. Uh, maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day. Okay, so I we'll have another connection here. A set of connections here. Is 
Is it fully connected? It is. Um, hmm. So this is connecting to, uh, to the machines right here. So it would be to the clean room, and this would be to the clean room and machines. Because if I remember correctly, it, it was clean room and machines. I need more aluminum. Let's get some blocks. Let's get some future blocks here or something so I can uh, build where the water is. Just so I can have some, some spacing. Or, or factory blocks or whatever. It doesn't really matter what kind of blocks it is. We can reorganize it after. Um, we don't have enough here. Let's do that. How much aluminum do you have here? Oh, I have quite a bit. Okay, 40. So yeah, we need to cook more. Thankfully, we're cooking as we're crafting, so... We're getting some more uh, over time. Okay, let's grab uh, some of these blocks. Okay, eight more of these guys. Uh, probably need more, but I guess we can uh, we can destroy some cables la later, or we can salvage some cables later. Okay, uh, so I can do something like this. And then we can uh, be connected to the machine section. But I gotta be careful because I could make a cyclical thing that won't function well. So I gotta hook it up to this guy. And then when, when I do, we're gonna have to unhook something. Oh, don't have enough power. Don't have enough cabling. Missing one or two cables here. Uh, that's fine. We can uh, we can go grab a bit more. But also, it'll be time to disconnect our our clean room section soon. Or else we'll we'll have way too many amps going through everything. Okay, so 64 is good. We'll make 64 of these guys. Got any more of these. How much aluminum do you have here? A lot. Okay. A lot to process. That's a lot of energy. I will need to make more 8Xs. Maybe. Four more 8x, that's not too bad. So we can grab a bit of both. Three and four. And we'll just let the rest craft. Yeah, so making more of those battery buffers will be a, a necessity at some point.
Okay, I gotta watch out here. So if we're gonna connect this to here, our machines aren't turned on, but this is. So now I gotta cut off the source. Right, the source is this, I believe. So now the source is cut off. We can replug it in. You plug this in. Boom. But now, now the main issue is if I look at my, my power thing here. Now the EBF and the clean room is being supplied by only one set of a. Uh, Yes, 256. So now it's like it's capped out. It's max. Right. So there's more of a draw. We don't have any input here at all. Which is fine. Okay. Now, now it's lowering, which is fine. But then. Um, in that case. So we have our, our 8x cable here, which is connecting to this. Oh yeah. Wait. Uh oh. It's a cyclical thing. Because oh, now it's not connected. Yeah, that's. I guess that's fine. Uh, I needed to... Okay, this is not good. Well, let me just do this. <laughs> the more water they recover, the less annoying it becomes. So now, we have the AX connecting to this, but the AX actually needs to be connecting to... This right here. Because now we're not powering anything. And this powers like the EBF and stuff. And, and the other machinery, so we're going to have to... We can't disconnect this just yet. This will be, be need. This will need to be connected by other means. Uh, I suppose. Yeah, gonna have to do that. Okay, so then I have to take my eight X and kind of replace this right here with an eight X. And then I need to connect it all the way over here. It would be a bit of a pain to do. But I think I can I can adjust it. So. The only thing is getting across that. It's, it's going to become even more spaghetti. Is there a way for me to um, cross this? What if I cross it like do the same thing? So we do something like this here.
You want to have um, a big spaghetti thing like this. I can stand. Something like that. And then this will go through. If I didn't fall into the water. And then, and then we can, after that, we can start reorganizing the wires. You know, when it works, we can be like, okay, time to make this non-spaghetti. Uh, once we are, have things a bit more organized. Okay, so that's that. So we'll cross right through. I can't see squat because it's nighttime. Okay. Well, still can't see squat, but you know. Maybe one day. I shall see something decent. Okay, so it's right here. Now, this is no other blocks blocking the way here. Other than, you know, the water blocks. Okay, so at least we did that. Thankfully, while I'm doing this, the aluminium is crafting, so... There is that. Because we need a whole bunch of it. Okay, this will be good because then, then I can uh, connect everything. At some point. Connect the things that are more reasonable. Okay. So now we have our first section, our, our first couple of generators connected. With that, so that means. Let's see if this. What if you just put 8x all over? Would that cause issues? Uh, yes, because I have to be careful what, what is connected. Because the 1x. Right? This would blow up all my transformers everywhere. Because they don't, they wouldn't be able to... Yeah, it would make things uh, a lot more difficult to differentiate. Clean room and machines. Okay, so clean room and machines right now is like... Uh, my helmet broke. Um, it's capped out. So this is at zero. So I got to be able to use this. Which is kind of interesting because, okay. So what's being used here? Nothing? I suppose I'm going to have to figure that out. This is powering that. What is it powering? Oh, this goes all the way. Okay, okay. This goes all the way to the, the EBF. I get it. So actually, we're going to have less of a power loss now. Because we can do this. Where we can take away a spaghetti mess. Although I wish I, I, wish I had more torches. Let's go get more torches. 
because I can't see anything. Oh, I do, I do have more torches, but let's get some more. I think I'm like a 60 something. Sag, yeah. Uh, no, it'll, it'll be good. It'll be good when we have things organized. No, no, no Sag here because it's the weekend chat. It's the weekend. We can game all day. Although, um, we won't be doing Minecraft this weekend, but we'll still be gaming. But next we can ho oh, it's gonna be Minecraft all weekend. Okay. We can grab that. It'll give me more time to think about like designs as well. I want to design my base when I do the other game. It'll give me ideas. Okay. So this is good. I'm getting rid of some wires that I don't need anymore. So I can kind of like recycle those wires for my other purposes. So this, now, this can be used, oh wait, this can be used for 8x, and it can actually be connected here now, with the other 8x. Nice. So now, now the power is like semi-centralized, we have to do that with the, the rest. But now I'm not only using this battery buffer, but also this one. See, so those two are capped now, 2042. Uh, I mean, the battery is charging. And, and when, um, when the battery, the main battery system here is fully charged, then those two will come like, um, alleviate. There'll be less of a usage. Yeah, and this pumps pumps more now. I'm charging faster. So we'll be able to see how much energy we have in this whole system. I wonder how I can get more cadmium instead of lithium here. Cadmium. Is it hard to get cadmium? Cadmium more. Can we, can't we get cadmium out of by, by process? Child copyright? Oh, I see. So sometimes child copyright? Sphalerate. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's not, not very common. Not very common at all. Okay. So I guess this, the theme is still the way with a... Still the way. Okay, well, as this is charging, so now we can work on, I suppose, another one. What up, Zero Cool? How's it going? Hopefully, you're doing well today. Okay, uh, so did we have that other battery? We did, but and it's zero percent. Okay, so that's another issue. Why is it at zero percent? Why isn't it charging? Is it because this? Is no, this is fully charged.
Is it because we only have one? Is it zero? Because we're fully using the power here. Um, that means I need another one. For this to matter. Wrench it? Uh, I think... No, I think... Uh, hmm. Let me see. Facing east, facing east. No, they're both fa facing east. It's just that the EBF right now is using like a... Average output, 2 amps. Average input, 1 amp. So we only have 1 amp of input. Uh, why is that? We won't have one amp of input because we only have one one battery here. Right? If you wanted two amps, we would have need to have another amp here and another amp here. So we basically just need more batteries. But for the EV batteries, it just makes me wonder, can I use Can I use HB batteries? Like, does the battery size matter? In those? I'm kind of curious. Because if so, then I can just use the large large lithium, right? Let's just see. Don't think so. Feels bad, man. Uh, okay. So now that I have battery buffers here, should I? Do I even need battery buffers here? So I have the main main thing here. I don't think I do. Nice for this clean room and machine. I do four amps of HV, so we just need another silver cable here. I could grab this high voltage battery buffer and could grab all this lithium batteries and make a big lithium battery. I think that's what I'll do. Cause that'll save me on batteries as well and, and lithium. Okay. So we'll get a 4x silver. Or do we have 4x silver? We do. Do I have enough space? I do not. Okay, uh, I could put this way. So clean room and machines, right? So the high voltage battery buffer. I'm hope I don't know if they'll stick to that, but we'll see. So if I take this, okay, it didn't, yeah, it's fine, uh, it is fine, okay, I'll take these lithium batteries, and then we'll do another 4x silver cable, where'd it go? Huh? Oh, there it is. It went to my backpack for some reason. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll connect this. Then we'll connect this. Oh, but I won't be able to see the the uh, how much we're using here. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Because I was about to say, like, are we are we at capacity? Like, what's uh, what's doing the most? But I guess we're gonna be able to see it in our in here instead, which will be good. 
Okay, so now, um, then we got these lithium batteries. Oh, do I need to do an empty? Uh, I don't know. Large sodium. I just got battery. I wonder if they need to be decharged or not. Oh no, they don't. Okay, perfect. I just need more spacing. Okay, so uh, quantum lithium, I need another transformer. Oh, I'll need more, more, um, more things. Wait, uh, I need quantum lithium. I need more gold cables. I don't have gold cables here. Yeah, I do. We'll make more gold cables. And then we'll go from there. Put a full one in the table and hover over the recipe. It should show red on three batteries if it doesn't accept it. Yeah, oh yeah, that makes sense. I think it does though. Uh, I think it showed exactly that. Um, so if I do quantum lithium. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we have that. And we got the extra quest, which will give us more lithium. A loot bag tier 4 EV. Let's do a loot bag. Uh, we might get lucky here. Maybe. Reaper head. Okay, we did not get lucky. But you know, it is what it is. It is, but it is. Okay. So now if we charge this up, we'll get two, two amps here. Right, so now the two amps can, can charge this up. We still have one amp going through here. Uh, so it can only charge one. But we can make another quantum sodium. But the thing is now, uh, which is kind of tricky, is now we need more HB circuits. Um, but look at this here. Is our control room, even, is our clean room even a uh, power? It is. MV tier circuits uh, and if I look at these processor assemblies inductor capacitor do we have a oh we don't have enough um, circuits okay oh no so we're gonna do that whole process before we can even continue uh, well, we might be able to make one more, one more battery. Let's do one more sodium battery first. How much we got here? Yeah, we can make one more. Do we even have enough sodium? We got two large lithium though. Uh, Much acid, much mercury. Oh, we got large lithium here. Oh, okay. Uh, medium lithium. Got a sodium here. Uh, hopefully we can get another lithium because then that'd be amazing 
for uh, our purposes. What do we got here? It sh it's supposed to show, but where? Large sodium. Oh, oh, I see they're in there. Oh, I see it shows. Okay, then if I did large lithium, then it would show like a... Oh, probably in the back here. Does these contain two large lithium here? Yeah. Honestly, I could probably replace the lithiums with sodium. Well, yeah, because if we have power some more centralized, the sodiums will work just as well. So, how to make sodium? Sodium dust is made by... Is it just by electrolyzing salt? Sodium oxide, salt, and get chlorine. Okay, uh, let's get some salt. Should be it. not too bad here. Unless sodium. Oh, I have enough sodium here. Easy. Yeah, we'll replace some of our lithium batteries that we're using in like machines that don't make sense anymore to, to use. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll grab our lithium. But we'll still need to make a. We'll still need to make some other things. Actually, you know what? Maybe I could even grab. Oh, this is our sodium. And I have three large lithium, eh? Yeah. Let's double check. Too bad I can't grab the lithium out of certain batteries. But it is what it is. Oh, I do have a scenario battery that I could I could re -gram. It's not the best. But it is it would work for some of our purposes. There we go. So now, now I have what? Two amps coming in. I have four amps incoming. Two amps co come out here. And I have two amps coming out. And I have two amps co that should come out right now. This is recharging. Um, can I see how much is incoming now? Yeah, I have 4,000 approximately incoming with this. Uh, approximately I'm using three amps though was well, I guess that's because it's charging I, I have more average input though yeah the average input is two amps of input um, hopefully it doesn't blow up it requests no I guess it's fine And we'll have eight amps of a, uh, in total. Okay, so that small scenario battery does resolve a few things, but we need more because yeah, that's thirteen million. That's gonna be really good actually. Is we're gonna have like a lot of power stored. Okay, and now we're charging this, so this is good. Uh, I guess we're gonna need to make another extreme voltage battery buffer. I suppose. Can you show your power setup? Uh, I sure can in just a moment. Um, 
my power step is kind of like decentralized right now. That's where we're trying to like centralize it. Um, okay, I wanted to make a sodium battery. Sodium batteries, right? How does this look? Okay, I have two more. It's, it's a bit bit of a mess. So I have power for several things, several ways. One is through this setup. This was my initial power setup, okay? I have a lot of steam boilers here. Solar boilers. That's going to this real craft tank. And the steam that go comes from here, right? Uh, goes into these turbines. So that's like one section that's powering like my vacuum freezer, my farms, etc. And I made, ooh, it has problems. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Good, good to know that we visited this. Okay, so now it's running fine. With this running fine as well. No problems here. No problems here. We have a, we have a very crappy turbine here. A small turbine here. Because it's only powering the farms. Which is more than fine. Uh, what kind of batteries do we have here? Lithium batteries. We need to convert these to sodium. Lithium batteries. Okay. Yeah. We're going to grab this, the, the lithiums. Um, but... That is not our main power source for now. Uh, now we're kind of like processing oil, which let's just check on our oil. We have a lot of heavy oil. We're essentially piping oil from here, right? That goes into our chemical plant. We're distilling it. And that makes like heavy, a heavy and light fuel, which then gets mixed into making diesel. But we're actually creating setting boosted diesel. So we're kind of like using our large chemical reactors here to make setting boosted diesel, which is located up here. And that's why kind of like our area is kind of polluted right now. Uh, and we have quite a bit of a setting boosted diesel. But I'm hoping by centralizing my power, this will be a bit more efficient. So that's kind of like the gist of how we're making a power. Like I could go really into exactly how I did it. Uh, like what inputs and what outputs. But that would probably take the rest of the stream. So <laughs> uh, it is it is all there in the, the my YouTube VODs. I think I think I have one that I just published that was called Setting Boosted Diesel. Uh, so it's uh if you want to see the exact process and how I built it, the spaghetti, it's there. <laughs> uh, yeah, all, all my vods of everything that I did is uh posted on my YouTube. I'm almost caught up. Okay, which is nice. Almost almost caught up. But now we're probably going to um Maybe make some wind turbines as well. I have I have some of the wind kinetic stuff done. Uh, so when we're done with that power upgrade, we're gonna we're gonna do that. I think that's gonna be kind of fun to do. Why do sodium and why not lithium? Because right now we don't have enough lithium. I could go mine clay forever, right? But it'd be just me doing it mining clay well forever uh so for now we're kind of like recycling our, our some of our lithium batteries that we're using in other machines for essential power the the other machines that use like as buffers we don't need them as lithium uh, but eventually i think we'll, we'll replace the lithium or even better i think we might do scenarium 
Um, oh. Yeah, might do scenario at some point. Holly, I think she's saying to steal. Let's take the loot bag. So, if we have four scenario pieces, I'm I'm kind of pretty good. Uh. Cause yeah, like even like a large oh that's LUV I see. Yeah, scenario would be amazing. So scenario dust is made in a mace raider. Scenario scenario piece. So tiny pile. So this would not even be enough for what I need. Um, that's unfortunate. I need any double. Nine scenario pieces equals scenario, so that's not even enough. Feels bad, man. Uh, but yeah, it's like uh, we need to mine a lot of clay for the lithium, and it's not something I want to do right now. But thankfully, I can kind of like um, extract the batteries and then refill them in with lithium. So that'll be nice. I can do it a bit later. Oh, need more polyethylene sheets? Hmm. Do I have more polyethylene sheets? Somewhere? Probably not. Um. Oh, we have some here. Okay, let's, let's make some sheets here. The thing is that like we're uh we're giving a uh, future Drek some problems here. That's fine. Future Drek will will deal with it. That's how that's how I solve my problems. I'll just let future me deal with it. Template. Okay, we don't have any uh polyethylene here. Job security right there, yeah. We'll just let future him deal. Well, that, that's how things should work, right? <laughs> totally, totally. Okay, there we go. So we can do those lithiums. Very nice. Uh, so now, now they have the Quansa Lithium, we can put the Quansa Lithium in our centralized place. So the centralized place is the party for Lithium. Lithium or Cadmium. Okay, nice. So now we have three amps in the in here. So that'll be kind of nice. So now we kind of like need another sodium here. And then we could do another extreme voltage battery buffer here to enhance our stuff um but that being said we'll need more we'll need more stuff we'll need more plates so now we can make more circuit boards um let's actually replace some of this and then which will also mean Copper foils. But we need even more copper foils. And I think we need iron 3 chloride, which I think I have a, a drum or a cell of. Oh, yeah, we can use this now. I keep forgetting. Copper. Oh, not, too, not too bad. Not too bad in terms of the copper stuff here. Yeah, so we can make as many of these as possible. Um, and then the iron three chloride. Where did I even put that? Uh, molten poly tetrafluorethylene. Okay, that's, that's that. I don't know if I have any. 
Could it be my backpack? Hmm. Liquid oxygen. None of that. Ooh, high voltage transformer. I do need that. Uh, ooh, an IV. Okay, IV circuit. We might need that. So not my circuit thing here. Oh, I got an item conduit speed upgrade. Interesting. That be, might be useful. That was part of the loot bag. Um, yeah, so... I know I had a large cell here that had iron 3 chloride. Unlike, yeah. The thing is, I can't search for it like I would normally. Oh, well, unless it's a drum? Didn't, didn't I see a drum or somewhere? It might, be the, it might be the black drum that I saw. I threw Clyde. Okay, that's not much though. Only 5,400. 5, Yeah, okay. I mean, we'll make as many circuit boards as we can here. And when this... Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, I may have the solution. Coins? Chemical coins? Is it? Is it the good chemical? Is it the green or is it the yellow? Because I don't feel like making some right now. The, the, the green. Because there are so many coins, my also use their coins. Okay. Not bad. So that'll, that'll uh, hold us for a tiny bit. Okay, well, at least we'll take six by six good boards for now. And we'll uh we'll go from there. Because I think I can make some uh some uh, HV circuits already, and I just need like a couple. Well, I don't need a couple. I need a lot, but I can make a couple right now. It's already 9 p.m. What? Well, it's Friday. It's Friday, Chad. I don't have to work tomorrow. Feels good, man. Uh, MV circuits. I think I had more MV circuits somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, did not mean to do that, though. Uh, RAM, random access memory chips. And I need, okay, inductors and capacitors. So I need the red wires and inductors. Boom. SMD inductors. Um, I guess I made these before the quest. Oh, because I need, I need to farm the moon stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. What are we going to get here? Energium dust. That might be good. Okay. So at least we got three processors. Wait, is it because... No, we didn't get any voiding. Um... It is because we don't have the MV stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you have more MV circuits that I didn't see because of the... Uh... Because of our um, A system? Because I think I made a lot of MV stuff for the A system. MV tier, MV tier. Uh, 
I don't know if I, uh, I used them all or not. Let's see. No. I mean, we have a tiny bit here. I'll probably make another one. Okay, but this is fine. We can make two more quad cells, so that's, that's not bad. Okay, so the large sodium, we might be able to, to retrofit. Oh, I forgot to, to put in... Large lithium. Uh, I wonder if there's any other batteries uh, somewhere. I'm just gonna like double check here. That I didn't have any uh, medium lithium. Okay. Yeah, this medium and small stuff we don't need anymore. Do we have a battery buffer here? Do because do we even need that battery buffer here? We don't. We really don't actually. Yeah, why do I have a better bro? Yeah, we don't anymore. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take salvage this. Because we can just put a silver cable here and we'll we'll salvage a lot of things here. Um, where's our wrench? Oh, in here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Fork silver cable. And my cutting things are here. So that's all I need. Only for this. Alright, so now it's running fine, so should work fine. Um, so they're producing all the distilled water here, perfect. And will it, yeah, I'll turn off, I'll turn it turn back on, etc. Okay, perfect. So now I can make another set of lithium, then another set of sodium. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, lithium, and then I would do quad cell lithium. Oh, I need more gold cables. Um, do we even have gold here? We don't have gold kibbles. Do you have gold? We have a bit of gold. Not much though. Okay. That's 15 at least. Uh, what up, Armala? How's it going? You got a region, Enderman, and your Tinker Smeltery. Now you're scared to try and name tag it. Then it will teleport away. Any tips? I have no idea. Um. Because I still have not found a regenerating Enderman, and I don't know how to name things. <laughs> uh, I'm still a bit of a noob in terms of that. Hmm. We found a regenerating one. Eh? Can, wait, can it? Des I guess it can despawn. Is that what you're afraid of? I guess if it doesn't look up, that's the thing. You gotta make sure it doesn't look up. So, uh, maybe like uncover it and cover it real quick. Like take a name tag, you name it, and make sure you just name it like A A A A or something. You know, you don't need to. You know, don't need an actual name. Just you know anything. I change the sound here a tiny bit. The music. 
There we go. So now we've got another battery. And this quantum lithium can maybe be put somewhere else. We have that, we have that. We have that, we have that. So if we have, uh, we could put another quantum lithium here. But now, now we need sodiums. Because now, how much do we have here? I guess we could use the cadmium for the other place. Yeah, that works. We have 26 million EU. Oh, damn, that's insane. Okay. So now we need another extreme voltage battery buffer. Tier 1. Um, extreme voltage. And I might not have that. Oh, I do have the titanium. It's processed now by them, probably. Machine hull. Need more aluminium. So as the new charges power, click with screwdriver to change style. So we charge armory. Interesting. Okay. Extreme voltage radio buffer. Very nice. Another one. So now, now we can connect this uh, right here. We can have another connection. And that'll, that'll connect a uh, well something. Yeah, let me know if you end up name tagging it, uh, Automala. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll go well. I'm praying. Praying it goes well. Just a one-up or something because it died? Oh, no. Well, rip Enderman. Yeah, if it's still give you a quite a bit of things here that's still nice still very very nice okay so this here wait this is what am I powering what do I need to power in this spaghetti mess so that's like uh, um, I can power this whatever this is Distill uh, or processing line, I think. Because, hmm, hmm, let's cover this for a tiny bit. I'm trying to falling into the water. <sighs> You know, I want to have a proper, proper setting here. I'm tired of falling down to holes. Okay. You need a wiring diagram for the base soon? Yeah. I mean, what was, once it's done, we can clean it up a tiny bit. It's just like, I gotta remember where is what and stuff. So that's EBF. Um, the other one is uh, that we have here, number two, right, is clean room and machines. And the third one that I'm gonna have here is gonna be. Um, more processing line and well something else. Yeah, or processing line and uh, and distillery and other miscellaneous things.
Um, hmm. So that would be the ore. Uh, this the ore processing? No, this is the uh, A2 system. A2 system plus ore processing chain. Right, that's ore processing, ore processing, and distilling. Jeez. That's a pretty heavy demand here. Uh, I might have to split the um, the E2 system at some point. I guess we'll see. The E2 system and the ore processing. Um, yeah, that might need splitting. Oh... The question is, do I split it right now? No, not right now, but I will split it. I'll split it like right, right after. Cause then, then, uh, yeah. Or I could do it right now. I could use one to power the machines right away. Oops. I just need to make sure like that um, everything expands well. Because the, the EPF is capped at using this. Aluminium cable. So that's like my clean room and machines. So clean room isn't really like, I guess that's all the machines. Which will upgrade to EV at some point, so that might be a bit of an issue for carrying. Because uh, we have one amp of EV, so once we convert our machines, that that conversion is going to have. I guess I'm just going to have need to have a battery buffer or something. Be a bigger battery buffer. That's going to be interesting. Uh, for my machines, I'm going to have to have another... Really? I'm going to fall down here. Uh, for, for my machines, I'm going to need to have like another battery buffer here. That is stronger. And it'll uh, go here. Something like that. Okay, well, if I'm, if I'm falling down here as well, you know, I'm going to solve this issue right now. <laughs> no more falling in water. And the bottom is going to be a mess, but you want at least go by water. Um, okay. So now that I have that, yeah. so I got to make sure that I know what I'm connecting and to be able to reach this. Because I don't know how much power our, our A2 system is going to actually use, right? Um, yeah, that is confusing now. Yeah, we're going to need a... We're going to need an extra battery buffer here to split this and split the other part. So we won't have to like do this weird cable. That's fine. That, that'll that fix itself. Uh, I think. Let's just do this. Uh, we're just getting very, very spaghetti right now. <laughs> Extremely spaghetti. Okay, 
so I can do that. Uh, I don't want to connect it just yet. So I can't, I can't light more than that. Either. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to connect it just yet here. Because it's still being powered. Um, I believe. Through this. And it's still powered. Powering this. So that's the other thing I gotta be careful. Careful of. Oh, that's, that's our medium wire. One silver cable. I gotta watch out for this. I might need to upgrade. Uh, yeah, that's the next thing we're gonna have to upgrade. Okay, so how do I fix this properly? So this be 8x aluminum cable. Right, so I could probably... Bypass this. I just gotta clear this out. I'll have to cut these. I'm gonna cut this. And we're gonna cut this. And this. I suppose we're gonna try to do it like this. And then we'll be able to connect. Pick this up. When it's not kind of like contours it. Uh, and then for this high voltage transformer right here, uh, we can do an NX aluminum cable. And we can 8X it right here. So now at least we'll have a, an intake of power. Nice. So I have an intake of this of power, and then I can kind of connect this section that I had connected here, uh, wherever it may be. Okay, where's our A2 system? <laughs> Where did I see that? And I think I, I saw it somewhere. Okay, hold on. Let's just. Uh, this connection right here. We need to be connected like this. Boom. Because the E system was somewhere over here. Right here, I think. Oh, no, that's my ore processing line. Either way, it, that that should be done. Uh, the only thing that I'm missing is um, is to put in the battery. Yeah. Okay. Put in battery for this. So that being said and done then, we're going to need another sodium battery setup, and then we need to make more circuits. We need even more. Let's grab more sodium. Uh oh. My system isn't on. <laughs> oh no, I can't grab more sodium. I, I, that's fine, that's fine. Once we put in the battery. 
that's that's the that's an issue okay it's a slight issue because that's the downside of having an a system we're going to make sure that it's not you know it doesn't go down here uh, uh do we have more uh no, that's large lithium we have the lithium here but we need the sodium And we'll have a small canning canning machine. How's our aluminium actually? Oh damn. That's perfect. Okay, so we can use that for the machines, because the machines should be on now. Very nice. Okay, and I should have a battery right here. Perfect. So now we should have enough circuits for another set to get. So if I do quad cell. Uh, quad cell sodium battery. We need another transformer. We need more stainless steel. Do we even have more stainless steel? Uh, well, I think I'm more, more, um, stainless steel bars. I just gotta find them. It's just, it says something. I'm pressing T. Okay, T doesn't work here. We need some of the bars are over here. up here oh perfect we need uh, all the uh, bending things that we can get it will make more circuit things I seem better oh I have more sodium here oh you didn't see that Okay. Well, that's definitely good enough. Okay, that's all I need. And we'll make a HB machine casing. Can we make a machine hole? Can we make the high voltage thing? Can we make quad cell sodium? Nice. Right here. But is that even enough? Supply, it isn't. Oh, it's recharging. No, and that now we're like evenly distributing things. Perfect. So we have a lot of power here. Average input. We saw sort of like 4,000 something. So wait, does that make any sense though? Oh, we're starving. Um, I think it does. Okay, we have one more big meal. And after that, we're going to have to figure things out. Yeah, so I think it makes sense because we have ore processing, uh, ABF1, and clean room, right? Which again, we don't we don't need these battery buffers anymore. Uh, for the most part, we could just use cabling. 
It's still kind of like a waste of batteries in a way. Now that we have things centralized. Um, silver cable. Gonna be too, too redundant. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Do we have even more sodium? Okay, well, we still need the circuits, though. That's the thing. Even if we have the batteries, we need the circuits. Let's put the batteries in here for now. So let's grab these, uh... These. I think we should have enough to make a couple circuits. Maybe, like, maybe we can take make 10... Uh, 12 MV circuits and then 6 uh, HV. Well, that will we'll, we'll be able to make like 6 batteries with that. Okay. Uh, and then MV tier A. So, resistor, capacitor, resistor, capacitor, uh, we do have, we still have some red wiring, so that's nice. And, uh, transistors. And then we need, like, the logic. So, or the central processing unit. Okay. So, at least we'll make a couple of those. Do you have more stuff in here that I haven't uh, taken out? Mm, not really. Do we have advanced circuit boards, regular circuit boards, find gold wire? I don't know if we need find gold wire. We'll just put, the, put that here for now. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll wait until we have like what twelve or, or something. And then we'll we'll switch off. And we'll just need like once we have everything set up in our, our power st station, we'll just do everything else. So I have twelve of these guys. Then we need the RAM. We need like what the the inductors? Nice. Uh, the other thing to check out is is this running properly? It is running fine. Okay. Perfect. Because last time we uh, did not notice the maintenance problems and we voided like a whole bunch of HV circuits, <laughs> which is not fun. Uh, but it is what it is. Well, this will be good. Okay, four, five, and six. Be good there. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll make those, uh, batteries. Because I guess now I have some sodium, so I could, uh, maybe take a sodium here. Also sodium, scenarium, yeah. Wait, is the sodium and scenarium the same amount of spacing? No. Scenarium is double. What about lithium? Lithium is 6,400. Okay, yeah. So small scenarium equals, uh, equals a lithium battery. Good to know. Oh, we need more, uh, more stainless steel. Yoink. 
Yeah, this power is going to be great because then it's centralized and we'll know exactly what we're uh, what our outputs are. Small gold cable. Yeah. Do you have any gold here? You have some. Okay. Oh, I have gold here. Oh, don't I have like a... Let me, let me check my ore berries. At the same time. Also, ore berries. How much gold do we produce through this whole playthrough? This uh, today's stream. Uh, 105 gold dust. You know, for for uh, this playthrough here, that's not bad at all. Okay. It's it's not much, but it's way better than nothing. All right. We don't really need to to go hunt for gold. We just can just cook it. So it's like I get passive gold income. It could be better. I couldn't be using glowstone. But I didn't want the power usage. Along with that. Okay, so we'll make some gold cabling. Very nice. So nice we're, we're getting there. There we go. So I have Alter's Transformer. We can do the quantum cell sodium. Did I not have the quad cell sodium? Large lithium, large lithium. We don't have okay, I see. Oh it didn't didn't I put the sodium here or something? Yeah yeah, large so yeah, there it is. Can put take these two. There we go. So that sodium battery can go over here. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. So it can go over, over here. Hmm. Oh hey, what up? Did did he have a goal? Hello, hello, raid. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? It is the weekend. Well, uh, thank you for the raid. We're, we're trying to overhaul our power setup. Also, I didn't realize it was, it was late right now. <laughs> you made me realize the time I got addicted too much. Well, hello. Yeah, we're, we're trying to re-centralize our power to one huge battery buffer system. So that's 26 million, eh? Uh, so we can, we need to connect it all after that. You're, you're just 14 quests away from finishing GTNH. Damn. The last few nuclear quests, which are awful, at the Stargate Circle. That's crazy. It, it's at the end of an era. It's so close. <laughs> For me, it seems so far, so far from that. But you know, it is what it is. Okay, so we have three amps here. Right? Okay, so we, we have enough for four amps. So we can make another sodium here. Fourteen quests. What would uh, so far, Diddy? What would you say is your favorite part of the mod pack? Like what was the f most fun aspect to do or work on? 
I mean, oh, I guess it bees. Uh, is bees your most, your main interest? No, I, I guess I would be including bees as well. Uh, okay, so maybe I can do. Oh, the, oh yeah, be sodium. Uh, this be connecting or processing it. Let's do this. Let's take this. And let's put a silver cable here. There we go. Because is the only reason you ever started G Change, is it? Interesting. You spent six hours a day for like 20 days straight just on them. You dedicated your life to them. Nice. Yeah, I have not explored that aspect yet. But, um,. Uh, I'm very, very interested in breeding the trees, which I'll have to do bees or some form of bees. I want to do all those types of trees if I can. Okay, so now we have all of these generators going. Oh, I three chloride. So now I, I need to connect these two for the five amps of EV. That's tricky because these are going upstairs, and they aren't they aren't be, they aren't connected downwards. But let's have my three amps of EV going in now. Uh, EV stage is nice. You get to see what GTH EV is like versus what you're doing in all the mods nine. Uh, is all the mods nine fun? I, I, I saw some uh, some cool mod packs on the Feed the Beast uh, Reddit. What people were playing, and I was like, hmm, these are all super interesting. Your first episode of Gene Teenage Beast should be out on Sunday, hopefully. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Do I follow you on YouTube? As if I don't I need to rectify that right now. Boss channel. I don't. Here we go. Pog. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so you have the link something you don't have a YouTube channel link for some reason. Oh, but yeah, the vo I follow the vault channel. So if there's another one, I'll, I'll just uh, pass by your page. And uh, if you add it to that as well. Because, you know, any kind of support I can give. Even if it just means a follow. Um, I need another battery buffer. It's great. You think they did a fantastic job with all the mods 9 and Grand Tech and all the mods 9. Is all the mods 9 like a 1.2? 1.20? Hmm. Because I haven't I haven't played 1.20 yet on Minecraft. I wonder how what kind of quality of life stuff they have. Because we're on 1.7, right? For for this. So that's uh way different. Um battery. So I wonder how, how different is it is. I need the the small, small battery buffer. Oh, I need more titanium. We went, let's go, go get our titanium. 1.20 is the latest version. Interesting. And you'll let me know on Sunday. The first episode is like all the stuff you need to gather before you get started. And then second episode will be actually be diving to breeding. Nice. Actually, I'll, I'll probably need to watch that because uh, I know nothing about bees. <laughs> Other than they're just very basic. You want to do basic episodes so people can understand what they are getting into? Yeah, I think that's good. Do do basics and then more advanced, etc. TVP alloy ingot. Can I do this now? Yeah, there we go. You got some titanium. Yeah, basics to more complex. Okay. 
1.20, you're actually enjoying it. You, uh, and you know me as a pure Gretic player, so you're actually having fun. I think exploring a different ones or different map packs are good. Of what was it? Uh, there's there's a one that just uh, came out on beta, and I want to show you guys because uh, this might be future content for all of us, but also, yeah, this. What about JLO? How's it going? Uh, Destroy is now on beta. So all of this is like, um, what does this guy say here? Uh, Destroy is an add-on to create which adds chemistry. Right? Destroy is an add-on to create which adds chemistry. A lot of mods add chemicals, but Destroy adds a unique system of chemistry, unlike other mods which represent molecules as other crafting components. Uh, brightly colored fluids, which can be interchanged in enigmatic black box machines. Destroy treats molecules as molecules. You won't be just directing a couple of fluids into RF powered machines. And now again, you will have to devise the synthesis paths, control separate, control reactions by monitoring parameters, etc. It's not Grek tech, but it seems very interesting. Uh, it's like the Grek tech of chemistry. So, uh, I don't know. Something to keep on the radar. Uh, it's only beta right now, but you know, again, something to keep on the radar. Let's see, and it's like in in one point twenty, right? So, content ideas for all of us, and and fun times for all of us. <laughs> for those who don't don't stream, yeah. Someone wrote a beacon somewhere and she changed Discord. And it's overly complex to explain simple breeding. Yeah, I think some some uh, simple down concepts would be uh, amazing, right? Kind of like progressively, kind of like lessons, you know, kind of like classes. Be breeding one hundred one, and then be breeding one hundred two, etc. That's that's why Diddy's doing that uh, that guide. Uh, EV machine hall. I want to. I want to do. Um, I'm going to do a solar tower guide. Oh, I need to do a, for this plates. That's that's what I'm thinking. Like do a proper, really good setup, and then show how I did it. And yeah, that should be interesting. And then do do like some sort of like flow chart flow charts and stuff that will accompany it. Cause I might need to, to do uh flow charts uh at my work, so <laughs> oh more more complex flow charts. Cause I'm I'm part of a I guess you could say I'm part of government, pretty, pretty much, and um, we're going to Omega Drought this year, and so there's all like planning that needs to be done, and uh, maybe doing some flowchart processes on on who, who's allowed to water and who isn't would be uh, very interesting. Okay, extreme voltage battery buffer. Learn how to how to put my Greg Tech skills to use in real life. You just think like most things. It seems very complex on the surface, but it's quite simple. Yeah, sometimes it's just like the thing is with with uh, bee breeding or like uh, any other concepts in Greg Tech. Greg Tech, you need to list everything out and you need to make sure everything's clear. Because if you miss a concept, for example, let's say, for example, you forgot to read about amps in power, right? You would be super confused with power and you'd be like, when the heck is going on? Why, why are my machines blowing up, etc. And it's, I guess the same goes with the with the other concepts. You gotta make sure you get the basics right so you understand the more complex setups.
And sometimes imagery is is uh, useful. Old charts or other other things. To illustrate those concepts. Oh, I did not mean to do that. This would be a nice power setup because, like I said, my power is so decentralized. And now we're re-centralizing everything. So things won't be detached anymore. So for example, if I'm not using my EBF, that power is going to be rerouted for other machines, right? So things won't stall anymore. Uh, and it shouldn't stall as much because we have, we'll have a lot of like storage. Because what I'm thinking of doing as well is that up this hill, we're going to have a platform and we're going to have wind turbines here. And so the power is going to go down here and it's going to come into our battery buffer here. So that's going to supplement the uh, the diesel. And so maybe when um when the power when the wind comes out off or is low, the diesel will kick in, kick in or something. Something like that. I guess that's the hope. Okay, so is this on? Yes. Let me just check if all the machines are good here. This machine's still on. This machine's still on. Any maintenance? No. No maintenance. What about what about um our distillery? I can't even access it. <laughs> There's too many pipes. Too much spaghetti. You're running fine. Good. So now it's these guys. These guys are carrying the things up. Okay, we have our banner buffers here that we can probably delete. Right? TTFE upstairs. So we can probably take this out off. We can take our silver cable here. Boom and boom. But now I kind of want to do the cabling that goes down to connect the rest. So I still have to be careful, but I'll put an 8x aluminum cable here. Oh, and we need more. We're out of uh, aluminum cables. Actually, that'll be a bit simpler. Oh, wait. Will it be simpler, though? Because now... Hmm. I, could, I could take some battery buffers here. And maybe it would be simpler for me to... Make a power line instead of the power going back downwards. We can have two power lines that go through here. Um, that could work. So instead of this guy, because instead of everything being so like close together here. Um, right here. I want to have, okay, let's cover this up. I have this guy right here. Extreme voltage battery buffer. And I would have the aluminum cable. But that would extend... over here same thing with the other battery buffer here i would have like another cable that would ooh. now maybe go because we need two cables um this is getting a bit messy <laughs> Because I was thinking like downwards, but the, the, there's too many, too much things that that's happening downwards. 
Meanwhile, I'm gonna have like two cables that like jut out of here. That could be easier. Okay, let's try to store some things here. That, uh, yeah. These guys. So what I would do, oh wait. Oh. That makes more sense. Okay. So now, now I actually have the power. Uh, how many amps of power do I have now? Well, okay. So, so I think we have like 6,000. But we're definitely not using 6,000. So, yeah, I'm going to be reducing pollution by a lot. A lot, a lot. So these three are done. So yeah. I was thinking of like doing an aluminum cable. I could go a bit higher. Oops. Sometimes yeah, I need to fix my lighting chat because sometimes I'm like so blind with this. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fell down to the water. Uh, we, we're going to need to plug in that hole. Uh, what did I take off? There's nothing important. Is yeah. Our resistance too. Can I not jump on this? Yes, I guess not. Okay, so yeah, I uh, is it wait, is this connected? Don't connect it just yet. I don't want things to blow up. So I would like disconnect this, or rather I would put a hole through this. Not the most aesthetic, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, you were ordering food, but yeah, your aim is to show how you did bees and try to make as as simple as possible. There will be some data and some actual formulas, numbers given, but in reality, you're just going to use, be like, this is a better system, use this instead. Yeah, I, th I think most people will gloss over the numbers anyways. Unless you just like, uh, post like a flowchart or a spreadsheet in the comments or something of the, the YouTube video. People can use as a resource. But yeah, I think I think that'd be the that would work. I I can't wait to check it out so I can <laughs> so I can learn the rubbies. Okay. Uh. So we need another cabling. Eh? So this be cabling number one. I don't know if I look like the look of this cabling here. Maybe I can fix the cabling later. Hmm. And the cabling from the bottom would look good. Would look better. But I would have to do like a, a cable that goes up. Uh, that wouldn't be too, too bad maybe. It'd be a bit of a mess, but you know, okay, that might be better because I, I don't like the thing uh, jutting out of that. I'll just take that out. My aesthetics are broken by by if it did this. I 
I mean, it is cool to have power lines, but not yet. I think we'll do that when we have like graphene cabling. We're still going, uh, yeah, but I'm maybe half hour, hour. I have to go to bed soon, and I can't can't stream too too late. I have to wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> but we are we are doing a new game tomorrow though. Think, you missed the thing about the eco server? Are you planning to do, do viewers? Uh, I do. Uh, I'm planning to do it with, uh, well, people from, from the community here. People who, who show up to the channel, etc. Uh, I think it might be July. I'll try to figure out the details closer. Because I don't know how many people can get into the server. Right? Whichever server I can make, so... I want to be as inclusive as possible, but also I have to be realistic in that, like, what if, you know, you can only have four people, like, what do I do, you know? <laughs> I have no idea how, how big I can make it. The only thing that I'm, I'm going to make sure is that um, people can only play when I'm streaming. Like, it, they can't play when I'm offline. Because I want to be the mayor and... Uh, and you know, direct the town here. That's the only thing I'm gonna to try to make to try to do. But again, that's far in July, so we'll see. 50 plus maybe you've seen some huge servers. Gonna make sure it just doesn't lag though. That's the thing. And how how much would a 50 person server cost, you know? So those are the things that I gotta figure out. Uh, okay, so this would be the connection here. Uh, and how would I connect it? Oh, that'd be pretty far in, wouldn't it? Oh, it's gonna get messy. Maybe I do do that cabling because it's already getting messy here maybe we do a one from the top chat it's getting really really messy okay uh the meteor timer will count down yeah turn off if you're gonna do it that way um no, the meteor, the meteor might not come down. Uh, timer might not come down if I turn off the server or something. I'll I'll try to figure it out. Uh, you're gonna wait for your food and then get some recording done. Have a good rest of the stream, Jax. Well, a uh, hey, good luck on the recording and thank you for the raid. B, thank you for the raid and uh, have a nice meal. Although I don't know what you got for food. I would love to know. <laughs> I need to get. I'm gonna get a, a brunch to, tomorrow. I need to get better at preparing my own food. But I'm. Uh, I'm. I guess what? What day is it? Five. I'm five for five for not ordering fast food. So you know, trying to make the year strong maybe we'll see if i if i can resist okay this way a nice pizza Ooh, that, that'd be good late night pizza you know i when i went to new york city way back in the day when I was like 18, man, that was some really, really good pizza. I don't know what it was, but it was like some sort of like small place at like 2 a.m. And it was so freaking good. I wish I remembered the name of it.
Okay, so this would be good. Now we'll just like bring this up. Oh, we ran out. <laughs> we ran out of materials. Uh, we won't kind of have the servers off. Yeah, I might do that. The idea as usual, you know me, you like to demand make suggestions. I think you hold down shift when you place cables, they'll give you a bigger hitbox to place them. Yeah, I I don't want a bigger hitbox. Just because um, there's so much spaghetti that if I place a cable wrong, it could prove disaster. <laughs> I don't want to get to that habit. The cabling disaster. I mean, it would be content, but you know. <laughs> it would be content. I think it's been like a couple of days since our last incident though, so that's kind of nice. Oh, we're out. Okay. And if I... Chat, okay, so I have um... Maybe another half hour and I have to, have to, have to go. I have to go on the, the next Minecraft stream, I guess, will be, uh, will be on the Monday. We're still streaming this weekend, but just, you know, a different game. You run a lot of cables next to each other of at all different voltages. That's scary. And you're not, you're not scared that it's just going to blow everything up. Hmm. Scary, scary. Uh, wait, do I have any? I uh, don't have a battery buffer here yet. Okay, so we can plug it in. Or a battery yet. Yeah, so we can plug this in. It's going all the way over here. Perfect. Perfect. Right, so... Uh, we can kind of plug this in now. And turn this off. Uh, do I turn this off just yet? No, not yet, yet. Yeah, and I don't connect this just yet. Guess now I need the the four X uh, buffer here, or now the four X, the eight X. And hopefully that will also diminish some of the uh, some of the pollution that we got. There we go. Hopefully. And then we have our gold cabling here. A stone. And then we'll, we'll see here. Yeah, Exxon looks cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be a fun little, little bit of change for the... Uh, for the stream and uh, it's not like we're abandoning this mod pack anyways because I'm fully addicted but I think it's nice to ch change the content a tiny bit and I want to expand my YouTube for other things too right I want to do some other uh... I want to do some other YouTube content as well where I kind of like just chat it might be about some real life affairs you know We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna do that as uh, content aspect on my YouTube as well. Just something a little bit different from the channel, which could be kind of fun. Uh, aluminum wires. Oh, the wiring. And that should be decent. 
have I seen four expansions? I have not. But speaking of four X games, I've been a. Uh, I think we're gonna try it off stream. We're gonna try to play a a, a bit of Terra Invicta here. That's a very very long four X game. Gonna see. Uh, gonna see if I can manage to do to do some stuff. You know that may also make me think. When I was talking to Sa Samsa today. When he was in the chat, um, he mentioned XCOM. I really want to do another XCOM playthrough because I didn't do it without the DLC or with a DLC. Because XCOM is really, really good, so that should be interesting. But to, to answer your question, I have not seen Foundations <laughs> or Forex Foundations, so I have to check that out. Yeah, I guess it's on Steam. Mate. Uh, is this? Oh yeah, 8x aluminum wire. Okay, we can do that. Very nice. There we go. So now, now I can plug everything in. I gotta watch out. Um, okay, so like that. Yeah, that works. And then I have this bad boy that will plug in here. Nice. So now we have another set of things. And I just need to have another battery connecting. Uh, you know, Exxon was like cursed in terms of being annoying and frustrating. Uh, it is a bit rough in the sense that like 95% chance to, or 99% chance to hit does that not mean 99%? It is, uh, it, it is cursed in that way. But, uh, still, still really fun. Yeah, so you still miss. <laughs> or can't, it still have a large chance to miss. But it is what it is. Okay. Yes, this, uh, the... Banish is a cool space similar to game. Interesting. Do different things like training or fighting or missions. So it's kind of like Star Citizen or Elite Dangerous. I guess. Okay. I mean, I don't think uh, Star Citizen is ever coming out, you know, but. Maybe one day. Uh, gold cable. Okay, boom. Imagine if it actually came out one day. Uh, quad cell. Nice. So we're getting more um, more cells here. It's like long dark. Eighty percent chance to start a fire. Six stars later, you still don't have a fire. Well, if you like the long dark, you should try out Subnautica. Ye. Nice chat. We have the quad cell sodium battery. We'll have to check out all of our machines up upstairs, though. But this is good. Because now, now we're using... See, now we're using the 5,000. 6,000. So we have... Oh, I mean, I guess we're using that because of... Uh, we're charging the battery here. But once the battery's fin finished charging, you know, it'll, it'll re-even out. 
uh, Anmala, you got your HV card manager, and wow, well, it's nice. It is super nice. Especially since when you can start automating your, like your farm and stuff. And then you can either put like uh, your byproducts in the barrel or or a drawer and then you can pump it to whatever your machine that needs like if you have like wood whether you're making or, or a sugar beet or whatever man th this power setup is amazing so far right i feel like everything is just centralized now and it, it's so nice to have even if it's just a tiny bit 26 million hour eu right so now i feel like we're going to be using a lot less setting boosted diesel so we can have more setting boosted diesel in our storage and when that's full we can um well we can make me make a multi-block of a uh, power kind of like room world but in space and you have your own character you know what i i have bought it the new room world dlc we're gonna have to do some room world, room world at some point Okay, so this is done. Now we need the last one. So how much are we using right now? Okay, so we're about 4,000. Okay, 4,000. So our, our whole factory is about 4,000 EU. That's not that much, actually. The only thing we were on sale, they were on sale um, on uh, this... Uh, yeah, one of them is 50% off on the winter sale. The else bad men. Yeah, they were, they were on sale. Um, I mean, they'll probably be on sale again on the, the summer sale, but yeah, they were on sale. You rather devs refuse to put them on sale? No, I think that's for Factorio. I think you're mistaking it to fa for Factorio. Um, you mentioned casing? Because the room world has definitely gone on sale. Very nice. So now that I have that, I can do the other one here. And then I need all the aluminum cables here. And I guess I could do another, another output. So I have to be careful here. Uh, maybe I'll just do like a, a exterior connection here. I like that. But yeah, it'll, it'll, uh, I think the next big sale will probably be what the summer sale. Uh, there might actually be a spring sale, so. It might not be uh, as big as the winter, but you might find some good deals. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Connected to that. Um, and then have another row here. And then, you know, when, once we have things connected, then we'll be good. Okay, so the other one needs to, like, pop out. Okay, we got this guy. Um, hmm. Okay, well, uh, this is, yeah, the, okay, this is connecting here. This guy is just going this way. So we'll have... Something like this.
Yeah, I just want to finish this section. Uh, we can probably... Okay, we won't connect, uh, disconnect it just yet. I could just do the aluminum cable like kind of like right here. Hmm. And I could do it from the other side. The output EV. And battery buffer. This is lithium batteries. Okay. That's even better. I can I'll be able to use the lithium batteries. We've been watching all uh all the Doctor Who's. I've been watching all the uh Hmm all the ER shows. So you know, doc I've also been doing doctor things, but the different ones. Different show. <laughs> okay. I've actually never seen Doctor Who, but uh you know, maybe one day I'll have the time to get into that. How many gold cable? Um, do you have any gold here? I think I think I do. Are you just saying that you the season with her in it. You don't know how to feel about it. Uh, I'm sure you'll warm up to the character. You know, a sp I guess it's like when you're... When you get introduced to a new character, right? It takes time for you to, to connect with it. That's usually, usually how it goes. And just take some time. Okay. Yeah, i never seen Doctor Who. I mean, there's so many shows I haven't seen yet, so... Because, you know, just the limited amount of time that I've, uh, I have, I guess. Like, there's a whole bunch of anime that I've never seen before. That's, like, super common. <laughs> so, you know, there's that too. Okay, sodium here. She got big shoes to fill. Well... Hopefully, she will build them. Hopefully. Yeah, nice. So at least we have a good power draw here. So we're charging these guys up. Okay, that's that's amazing. But I have to connect this. So if I go one lower, it might actually work. Or I guess we'll see. Okay, don't burn out though, because if it connects, yeah, go. Okay, this is a tricky one. Now let's do one a bit further, like that. I mean, that's a bit safer. Uh, and then I would have a connection here. I just gotta make sure to de disconnect it before I like uh, connect everything. So no copter pack? Yeah, no copter pack yet. I mean, it's like a job to watch so many episodes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, do I have, a, do I have any... Uh, okay, we're gonna have to wait a time, but... Uh, maybe not, actually. 
So if I take this off. Okay, it's all connected, right? And then I can do this. You connect it this way. We can like fix it up a tiny bit at, later on. But for now, this will this will be okay. We can make we can make like a, one of the cables go a bit higher. And it'll, it'll look nice. If anyone saw the, uh, if anyone on the GTH Discord saw this, it would have an aneurysm. Yeah, probably. But you know what? That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we're at 2,000, 4,000, 2,000. This will be good. So now it's charging up, so we're still powering this. We're powering this. Um, and we're powering this too. So this is perfect. Right, we have five, which is what we need. And then we can have five as well. So, um, technically, uh, we need more al aluminium. Yeah, I think that the, that's a great thing. We can make like cool setups in this mod pack. I think that's the amazing part. Oh, okay, more gold. Um, oh, we have more wires here. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's decent. And we can have a uh, another four X. Oh, that's four X. We need more. Okay, we'll put in the annex here. Um, and after that, I, I suppose we need more another battery, which we will have lithium batteries of, right? There's lithium battery. How much lithium do I have here? 12. Soon, one day. Full cable. Aluminium cable. So now that we'll connect all of, all of those things. Hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Kind of like connect this. Boom. So now, now I should have. It will can take this battery buffer though. And we're going to use silver cables here to connect everything. Uh, there we go. And let's get rid of our junk that we got here. Perfect. Just wrenching those transformers sounds give you anxiety. Yeah, it's uh, kind of risky in some ways. So I think we're good in that sense. So now, now our power should be centralized, and I think we should be using less of it. How, how much? Uh, how much are we using up here? 
and we're, we're getting we're getting setting chat it's it's uh we're not in the negatives anymore so centralizing that power just give us a boost of setting Running fine, running fine, running fine, running fine, okay, we're all good. Running fine, okay. So now that that's done, um, I suppose I just need a bit more, uh, more circus here. We're not done done because uh, on Monday, uh, we're going to have to, um, yeah, on Monday, we are going to make our wind turbines that will connect power into this. Yeah, power centralization complete. Running fine. So now I need resistors, transistors, capacitors, and central processing unit. We'll make a couple. We'll make like a I don't know. We'll make four or something. So oh, we'll make like eight or something. Four or eight. Um, I need more red alloy wire though. Eight of these, uh, and if I go B and look at this, inductor capacitor, inductor capacitor, and then we just need the RAM. Okay, I don't know if I have enough of red alloy wire for all of these. But we'll, we'll see. There's just a test anyways. We'll just need to take two circuits and then we'll see. Okay, nice. Because now, now we have more connections. And yeah, we'll see. Uh, you got you just got a new PC here, so you've been busy putting it to work. Um, what kind of new PC did you get? I guess like new everything. Top of the line. Oh wait, I can get lithium instead of sodium. Quantum lithium. So if I have quantum lithium, do I have all all of the sodium batteries at the output points? Ideal. Perfect. So now I'll just put this here, just to see what the uh, input is like. something right here if the if the input is only um, hmm. something's not quite right here
And shouldn't there be a greater input? Because the input is just like 4,000, it should be like 8,000. 99 processor, 4070. Damn. That's better than what I've got then. Now I'm in a game they play that can't run at 300 FPS. Not yet. Step up. Hmm. So annex aluminum cable. Wait, would I need 16 X for this? Um, I forget. Because ain't no annex would be. be one eight. So we all have eight amps. So it'd be a maximum of Oh yeah that makes sense. No we have five amps a maximum. Right? So five equals ten two forty. Um, hmm. I wonder. I suppose if I just do this. Yeah, but so, because it's grassing too. So no, that's fine. We're, we, everything's connected. We're all good. But shouldn't it draw more? No, because this this battery is only drawing two amps. A specific battery. Yeah, that makes sense. What we did was transform everything up to LEV power and then running a lot of four amp LEV cable. You can have up to 120 KEU along it and you just transfer up and down as needed. That's what I'm doing. Kind of. Uh, except I guess it's a bit more... I guess a bit different for the transforming. Yeah, I can only draw 5 amps. Yeah, I suppose, but the, since these bags are charged, it's only drawing the 2. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. So at least, uh, at least I know everything's connected. We just did do a double check here, another pass. It should still draw five amps. It, would it? Hmm. Facing down, facing down. Facing east, facing down. And it's all step up, eh? Yeah, we're all stepping up. Now, let's do another facing down. So let's just do this. I got an idea. Connected and connected. The facing down. You just make the mirror, you don't click check anything as long as it isn't on fire or exploding. Well, I mean that's that's still pretty good. 
As long as things aren't on fire or exploding. I think we're good. I don't, I don't see anything that would, uh, that would change. Or well, that should change. I have the transformer. Except for, for, you know, the, uh... Falling to the water here. You lost a stack of 64 X cables once, because we pumped, like, 4 times 64 amps of power into them, and they all burnt. Uh... I think I think Razor Rain or no a Dizzler had the same issue. Yeah, a Dizzler had the same issue. Okay, so we'll we're connecting to here. But all these we're connecting to this. Or amp of HV. Or amp of HV, and they're all connected. So no, we're good. I think it's because um, the battery that I put in it 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 isn't grabbing the uh, the full full aspect because the other batteries are full. This is grabbing three amps, four amps now, maybe four amps. Maybe maybe it doesn't make sense. Wait, one to two amps, three, four. Yeah, no, that might make sense. Because the battery, every other battery is full, right? So it's just grabbing two amps. Because it can only pull two amps for this. It yeah, makes sense. If if all the batteries were down, right? Then it would pull two, four, six, eight, ten. It would pull ten amps. That makes sense. I, I was just testing to see if my, my power is actually functioning. But that's 32 million. 32 million power right here. Actually, it's more than 32 million because we have our sodium batteries here. Uh, but that's actually amazing. So over time, we'll add more capacity here. And yeah, we'll add more lithium batteries. All oh, good. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, and five. So we have enough for like one, two, three more setups here. So I just like expanded my power by three for the most part. So now I can either maybe add another EBF or something. And then I can add more inputs to this power. That's actually amazing. But yeah, I have to get going. After going, thank you everyone for hanging out on all that good stuff. Um, I'll be back tomorrow playing a new game. And yeah, the battery buffers, like we said, the voltage. Um, yes, yes, they do. Right, they act as in like because it um, it'll act as if it um, yeah, it resets it. That's the best way to put it. So whichever battery buffer type that you put it, put, then that's how much it'll output. If it's like, or how much, how many batteries you put in. So if you put in one battery in the battery buffer, it'll put out one amp, but it will take in two amps. If you put in two batteries, it'll put out two amps. It'll take in four amps, etc. So you could kind of like uh, regulate the power that way too, through battery buffers. Yeah. 
I would recommend centralizing your power only in HV EV because that's when it starts to make sense with the cable lengths and stuff. Uh, before then, the cable lengths don't really make as much sense. But yeah. Clear room tomorrow for you. Thanks for the stream. No problem, no problem. Yeah, chat. Exit tomorrow. Exit tomorrow, but we'll be doing more of our power setup on Monday or, or Sunday if we finish Exit. Yeah. And just so you know, chat, we will be playing Exit on the hardest difficulty. Uh, so there's that too. We'll see how we can manage. But yeah, wind power and more battery setup on Monday. Bye, chat. See you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff. Bye, bye, bye. See ya.